In the landscape of figure photography, one group strived for tangible and dynamic displays. Yeah, we're live, bug. Oh, we are live. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're officially back, back at, at it. it. It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design, some people say, is even harder to find. Inside these gentle walls Cause all I see is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene As days go by It's the bigger love of the family The Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast is filmed in front of a live virtual audience and is funded in part by viewers just like you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. Sir, we officially back at it. This is, sorry to disappoint, not Book Nice. No, oh, no. Coming at you with the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast episode. 309. 309. Suddenly, they're on shelves. Wow. I have to um, give a shout out to Poncho. I've got my boys with me. Poncho. Wow. Ponchisi. Mm-hmm. Rick Dom. Mm-hmm. We back. Boog. Um, mm-hmm. Last minute engagement. Will he make it? I don't know. The clock's ticking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's, he's on some Jack Bauer <laughs> stuff right now. That's true. <laughs> he's got a couple commercial breaks before he he's going to break in dramatically. I can't wait. Um. Yeah, what's up, boys? I gotta know though, Poncho. Uh oh. How do you pick? How do you pick these titles? I don't know. Uh, ten minutes before the show starts. Yeah, ten minutes before the show starts. I uh, bang, 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 baby, right from the hip. You called. You called it. Whoa! You just made guns with your fingers. I sure. I sure did. Wow. So cool. (laughs) Yeah. Check this out. You're like that new Marvel legend. A W. Whoa. A W. Whoa. If you, I, got, you got to do the, you got to do the Kelly Kapoor when she does the loser whatever and then sl- a throat he? slit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. If Kelly I had, Kapoor. if I had a strong source of light, I could make a gorilla's head out of my, uh, out of my hands. It's the only shadow puppet I know. I'm gonna wow this fu- this freaking kid with this thing. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Dude, whenever, whenever we have another sleepover, I gotta see this beast. Oh, I'm saying. I busted okay. it out the other day. <laughs> oh, I gotta see it live, baby. Don't just That's see true. Live. Well, this ain't I, the same, man. I, I dusted it off and, you know, it's safe to say I made my wife fall in love with me all over again. I'll say that. <laughs> Dang. Anyway, yeah, so you, yeah. <laughs> oh wow! How you first? No, you, you, P. How's me, you? Uh, yeah, my, you. My week was grueling. Hey, guess what? It's your boy back at it again. With uh, stop me if you heard this before. I was working a lot. Uh, we do these. Yeah. We we do these like trophies for uh, one of our clients. It's for. <laughs> Dude, this you thing trophies? might yeah, it, it might as well be the Dundies. Uh, but like you know, it's a jan. It's a I don't know how much I can say, but it's a it's a janitor service, and like they do like you know best manager, best janitor, best all this stuff, best branch and stuff, and they have they have like almost thirty trophies, and then they have this huge mega trophy, which is like this big that they like at first they were like we're just gonna pass this around. And everybody's it, every year. It's gonna it's gonna change hands, uh, and then they just wrote the year on it. So now they can't do that. So now we have to do these trophies every single year. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, engrave a new year on it. Uh, no, well, like it's printed on it, and like it's uh, it's print. So it's like a reverse lay. It's really hard to explain. I will say though, um, I I'll. I'll st- 
when the Octo when I show off the October trophies, uh, they will look pretty much just like that. Reverse laid, flame polished edges. It's gonna look immaculate, baby. I cannot wait to show these things off. It's it's gonna be great. Um but yeah, I've just been I've just been doing that a lot. Uh, I've been working just like a proof of concept for the uh, October trophies, right? Yeah, yeah. My job is basically just a proof of concept for my own personal gains. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. So, um, so I've been doing like super late days trying to get it done because it was supposed. To, it's a. Uh, it was delivering today, and then I I walked into work today, and nobody was there, and then finally the like the one other guy that works that works as late as I do all the time. He, he shows up and he's like, Oh, you're here. And I go, yeah, why wouldn't I be? And he goes, Oh, you know, we're not open today. You know that. Right. And I go, no, I don't because I'm here. Like why? <laughs> <laughs> what? And then, so like our boss is like texting us and he's like, uh, you know, he wants to know what time you're leaving. Cause he's doing payroll today. And I was like, <laughs> what time am I leaving? I don't, the normal time. I don't know. And he's like, <laughs> I'm leaving at 12, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I showed do up for work. Find, <laughs> do you find that in your job you meet a lot of NPCs? No, uh, for, like, clients. Oh, dude, clients, like, out on the field. I've never seen such NPC behavior in my life. It's crazy. <laughs> but, like, the guys I work with are pretty are, are pretty cool. Um, okay, okay. But so, you know, I, I, I came into work today when I didn't have to. And then uh, all the hard work I put in over the last, like, week and a half, two weeks uh, meant nothing. Because we didn't even deliver them today, and we're probably going to deliver them on Monday, so I could have had like three extra days to work on all this stuff. Um, so it is what it is. <laughs> Great, that's amazing. It's wonderful. Uh, aside from that, nothing. <laughs> nothing is good. Yeah, nothing's great. How about y'all, Ricky? You're on spring break. Hey, break. hey, well, oh, man. what? I uh. I was able to achieve something that I thought was unachievable. Yeah. Um, during so. the beginning of the pandemic, I'm sure you guys know TikTok really took off. Not like it needed the pandemic, but it really took off. And I saw a TikTok early 2020 that um, really spoke to me. This okay. lady who collects giant things. Her whole house is giant things. Like a giant thing of cigarettes, like a gigantic pencil. Like, like they're yeah. bigger than regular size versions of yep. the thing. Yeah, they're like huge. It's like her thing. They're she's giant. Collecting giant. Dude, it's her house is fucking sick as shit. That's um, it's really, really cool design. It looks like a fucking funny house. Like, but not too much, if that makes any sense. But that's besides the point. So during the beginning of the pandemic, she's like, oh my God, it's a stool. And it's the shape of giant Oreos. And little known fact, Rick is the cookie monster. <laughs> so I saw that thing and I was like, dude, I want this fucking Oreo stool. And um, I couldn't find it anywhere. Everybody was buying it because that lady is like super viral on TikTok. And anytime she finds like something big that's like food related or like some item that's like big that's being sold at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, it's never easy to find because this chick fucking blows it up every time. So I just resigned myself to I'm never going to have my legendary throne. It's a shame. It's a damn shame, stool. Rick. Guess what? Rick was wrong. I found it. Wow. I found the throne upon which the king of the cookie shall sit. <laughs> and um and uh I picked it up and uh yeah, I fulfilled a lifelong dream. And if you think that that wasn't enough, if you think Rick has it all, this Rick, he's got it made in the cookie shade. Well, guess what? I got the Jada boys. I got the Bison. I got That's the Dalsim. Wow, baby. wow. I was telling Poncho earlier, but I got I got hit with a road bump at first. Found this guy stalking the toys. I'd never seen this person before, though. And I gave him the code, told him the DPCI said, hey, buddy, wow. I need these. He said, oh, they're in stock. This says that they're there. And I assured him, listen here, Ronnie. I promise you. They're not there, Ronnie. I looked at the section, Ronnie. They're not there, Ronnie. Okay. And he was like, uh, well, then I don't know what to tell you. They're not, then I don't know. And I was Short like, sweet. okay. I said, cool. Uh, this guy just looked lazy as fucking shit. He barely had his eyes open. Mm -hmm. It was early in the morning. I went there at opening. And, um, can you hear him? Am I yeah, frozen? I can hear him. Yeah. I can hear him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank God. I was about to be so sad if nobody heard me say that. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm glad that I'm being heard. That's, that's all I'm okay, glad about. All right. um, Rick, I, I, I see you. I unfortunately can't hear you. I don't okay. see Rick. 
<laughs> I mean, I see, like, as a person, I see him. <laughs> like he, like he's like he acknowledges me. Okay, yeah, my chief, under- you know, and I am his counsel. Shout out to any wrestling fan who understands that reference I just made. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so, uh, I, that deep cut reference, if not the most essential storyline going into WrestleMania right now. I don't know. Some people don't like wrestling, so um, <laughs> so I, so I, I find a, I find an employee that I know knows their shit. This person has worked there for like fucking fifteen years. Um, and I go, hey, Niall, like, I really need this First thing. name basis. It says it's their, their <laughs> name is Niall. Uh, they don't know my name, but I know their name, mm. basically. So, um, uh, they, uh, so, so I, I tell, I tell Niall the fuck of the fucking DPCI and I say, Niall, I need this. And they say, say less. I know where it is. Niall goes in the back, brings me the fresh case. Niall goes like, which ones do you want? And I said, all of them's all of them, and so I got a, I got the box in and I got the dolls in, and uh, it was a, it was a great success. I, I I couldn't have been happier. They're fantastic figures. Uh, I can't wait until everybody else has them, and they're all, you're all like, whoa, this fucking bi- oh, this bison, this yoga man, oh, just shit. You know, that's what they'll say, right? That's it's what true. they'll say. Um. Yeah, so it was a successful hunting week for me, at least. Everything that I really wanted, I got uh, in the store. So it's, it's been great. I felt like I was a real Brad Harper in the streets and uh, a Vin in the sheets, baby. Woo! Um, yeah, so it was a great success. I'm waiting for that one. Great, great success. Um, not much else happened this week that I could think of. Um, those, those, those were the highlights. Those were the highlights. I was, I was a fucking little crackhead. I was showing up every morning at target at open. It's crazy. Um, because last week when I was there, the, some worker told me that they were there. He was like, Oh, I seen those guys last week. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I saw bison and I saw Dawson there last week. And I was like, Oh, I was like, but I live next door and I'm here every day. I didn't see him. He was like, Oh, He's like, uh, he's like, we probably put it out in the morning or something. And I was like, okay, bet. I'm gonna be here every fucking morning. So I showed up every morning for three. Oh, it wasn't for very long. It was only for three days, and it worked out within the three days. Um, and thank you to my beloved lady. She put me on game. Wow. Uh, they told me it was gonna be there Friday. She said, "Don't believe them, babe. Trucks come early all the fucking time. It's really efficient. Hit them up on Thursday morning. I bet you they'll be there." I had to do it to him. I said. I said, "Don't lie to me, don't lie to me, lady," and uh, she she called it. It was there Thursday morning, as if she telegraphed it herself, as if she paid the truck driver himself mm-hmm. to show up there when she said, "Could you imagine?" Mm-hmm. But yeah, it all worked out. It was great, great week, great, great, great week of hunting. I I uh, I did good. So what's, what's going on with you, Fabio? Huh? Did you go to a show? Uh, I actually did. How did you know? There's just something in the stars that told me. Rocking out Fabio was at a show. Listen, buddy, I can't be that predictable. But yes, I did. I did go to a show. Um, it was a, it was a solid week. I had uh, a couple days uh, of work on this this show that I've been on a couple times, or Ooh. sort of in my couple uh, times, and it was like just good, like long long days, which is like good for someone who basically makes hourly. But on a show that you're kind of familiar with, and you know how like the system works, and you can you know. Um, make your own use of the downtime. So that was good. And then on Wednesday, I uh, went to, where was it? Costa Mesa, which is in Orange County. And I saw a band called Haunt, who are out of Fresno. Hell yeah. With one Kyle Wadiga. Oh, Wadiga. Super 7 fame. The man, the myth. Fame or infamy. Mm. If you're one of those... You know, if you're nasty, released the sexy rat king cut type of people. <laughs> you know, oh no, he's a lot hot. Of controversy there, but yeah, it was a great time. Good stuff. Um, got a shirt which I should have worn tonight, but it's okay. Um, I saw some. I don't want to. I don't want to like blow up my my boy spot, but man, we got to get Kyle on at some point. Cause oh no. Oh no! <laughs> because wait, wait, the secret because. formula is yes. on here. It's a, it's criminal. It's been said to me personally. It's criminal. You cut out immediate right after you said we got to get Kyle on because, and then you cut out. 
It was like, uh, Michael, all you need to do, do is, is uh, and you'll be saved. And you'll be saved. <laughs> maybe I should leave it at that. I'm going to just leave it at that. Like, yeah, oh, that's totally true. Wow. We, hey. we must have Kyle on. Kyle yes. is the man. And if you want to know why, tune in. How about that? Huh? Right. And people have said, <laughs> I've, I have heard it multiple times. Why don't we have Kyle on more? I don't. You why know not? what? They they tell me, I, I, you know what? People tell me that all the time. Like, isn't that guy really close to Fabio? Why isn't he on the show? I say, you know what? Don't fucking point out our flaws some, to me. Oh. That's what I tell <laughs> them. I said, don't ever point oh, out my Rick flaws to me. Out me. It's re- it's it's, it's definitely me then. I apologize. <laughs> Things have been uh, weird over here with the mm. internet. It's, like Dude, it's, probably, it's probably it's probably it's time. probably ghosts, man. Could be ghosts. A ghosts doing it. Nowhere near here. They can't affect my Wi-Fi. Oh man. You know what I mean, Rick? The band. I hear you. You Big said it was ghosts. ghosts. I was expecting yeah. like a rye chuckle or something there, but that's okay. You can move on. So, um, I, I thought you were gonna put. I thought you were gonna pull out like the Papa figure, but you because you looked down and you looked like you were like about to grab something. So I was like, oh, he's gonna pull out the figure, and I and nothing. I don't have the Papa figure near me, but I do have one that I uh, to squeeze it into my week here. I, I do have one that I like to call Daddy. It's uh, well, it's not even the figure actually. I actually got my. McFarlane Batmobile from 89. Color corrected one in matte black, like actually from the 89 movie. Wow. And it came with, I think this honestly is my first like McFarlane Batman figure. And it's the, you know, this guy. How do you like him? Does he turn you on or what? I don't hate him. Oh, okay. The overall review I keep going back to. <laughs> I don't hate him. But... <laughs> yeah, this is great. I'm being Never. silenced. Nobody ne- wants to hear my. This must be Pac photos in some way interfering. He doesn't want to hear Dude, my thoughts on these McFarlane. I, I don't know what's going on, but the internet hates you, and they hate fucking Ernie from Fallen Fat Chronicles. Go, go follow Ernie. Um, <laughs> Every time he's about to say something important, he's getting fucking cut off by <laughs> some sort of fucking internet I'll say attack. It quick. I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. There, there you go. go. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's you know, fine. I, I've, I've heard a lot of people really love that figure, so you're, you're not a hot take. He's, he's, he's still got a Lego-ass cape. Like, oh, yeah. That's, a, I mean, that's an awesome right cape, brother. Hello. I can see right through but you. Yes, it's fine. It's... It's a little stiff with the way that these like every joint is a ratchet except for like the the what shoulder. matters. Yeah, the ones that matter exactly. The ones that matter aren't ratcheted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make this up. Yes. I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best despite the circumstances. You got it. You got it, brother. All right, that's it. That's my week. All right, let's talk to this baby. Yesterday. I'm here today. All what right. do you want from me, man? Come on. Oh, also what I did yesterday. I was on a stream with friend of the show, mm-hmm. Biggie Award guest. Okay. KJ, a.k.a. Black Genghis. Oh, that's that's incredible. Whoa, the Black Genghis whoa. YouTube channel. He's, he's back streaming uh, live every week once again. I was his inaugural guest and it was a good time it's always a great conversation with with kj kj a font of knowledge that man a font of knowledge a font <laughs> whereas i'm it's wonderful whereas i'm a font of disinformation no uh-huh. this man is real information yes. okay old helvetica kj himself and that's <laughs> yes that's not misinformation either that's disinformation anyway um speaking of weeks it's been one. Mm-hmm. And in such a time, new things get shown. Yeah. And um, the time has come to talk about them. Okay. Let the How do you like that for a, uh, a nice little segue, brother? Great. Bro, you segged it. You segged yeah. the shit Fluid, out natural. Of that way. Got you hooked. Where do you want to start? Bitter. Nice. Oh, before we do that, now that you are hooked, let me keep you on for just a second longer. We did just get a super chat, Rick. Wanna... Whoa, is it from a good friend of mine? It's from a good friend of ours, oh. I would say. Oh, ours. Okay, you're going mafia yeah. with it. Okay. 
Wow. Yeah. See, I, I said this to them earlier this week. So that's why they're on it. But he says, Brad Harper, friend of the show, sharper than Harper himself. Brad Harper says, Jeffrey Jada sends his regards. Happy Friday, baby. When I, when I when I found those figures, I sent them to to Brad and the, and the boys, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Guys, don't worry about it. Just got the call from Jeffrey Jada. I'm good." And it was a picture. Oh, of you Jeff. spoke to Jeff. Okay, great. I spoke to Jeff of Jada. Nice. Jeff of Jada. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff's the man. I Shout love how. The actual head of this toy line's name starts with a J, and we, yet we go out of our way to call him Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't want June to think that he's the butt of a joke. That's true. You I know what? Jeffy. And he never will be. No. Never. June, no. the butt of a joke, he's a great man. It's true. No, no. He could be a great setup, but somebody else has to be the butt, you know? Wow, you hear that, June? He's going to set you up. Sure, sure, man. Okay. Um... Where do y'all want to start this? Um, Hasbro has some stuff to show off. I wish Mr. Nice were here to discuss it with us. Boogamous. But we'll we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Um, Star Wars uh, has been showing some stuff. It's WonderCon this weekend, by the way. I think today is technically the first day of WonderCon. Oh wow! Um, it is uh, the main the main thing. Real quick, if there are reveals or new things, there may be something being shown tomorrow because. As I dramatically bring up the screen share, mm. there is going to be a WonderCon Hasbro toy panel tomorrow, wow. from three to four. It is very exciting news. You're going to get to see a bunch of new product getting shown for the mm-hmm. first time. WonderCon, you know, is is kind of like SDCC light. It's put on by the same company. It's um, Kind of a smaller scale affair, but a lot of that same energy too. So um, it's cool that Hasbro is going to have a nice, a nice little showing there, showing a lot of their brands: GI Joe and Ghostbusters and Star Wars, Marvel Legends. Um, and after this, there's going to be like a press bracket, not a press bracket, like it's like a press events thing later on, kind of like the one we went to in SDCC, mm-hmm. where they'll have a lot of the stuff I think being shown at this panel live. So, um, Rick, I guess you're not you're not gonna be making it out with me, but no, I'll, I'll be going, checking out this this uh, Hasbro press event, see if we can get some um, boots on the ground footage, you know. Yeah. Um, new stuff. Wait, so this thing's like basically like an early dinner or something. He said it's like at six p.m. or something, or five p.m. Yeah, it's or? from five. No, yeah, five to seven, I think four thirty to seven, something like that. Yeah, no, no, no breakfast this time, huh? No, no avocado so, toast. Yeah, not long Fabio. after this, and it's not even at WonderCon. It's like across the street somewhere, and um, you don't even need a badge to to like go. You just, uh, you know, we had the RSVP. But Rick, you should try making it down, man. It could be really fun. I, uh... but it could also not be. I don't know. Always possible. Know. There is some new stuff that they have shown recently that we should talk about, though. This. This was a little bit of a conversation piece in the VC. What is this? Do you remember there was like an expanded universe of Star Wars? Yep. Before it got bought out by Disney. Mm-hmm. Okay. In such a, a storyline. Okay. Number mm-hmm. one Star Wars podcast in effect right now. Yep. In such an expanded universe uh, a novel or story, Luke and an evil twin created by the Emperor <laughs> called... Luke right. with two U's. Yo, okay. <laughs> yeah. And okay. Then, um, there were these other characters. Genuinely, my first and time they ever all hearing interacted this. in this story called The Last Command. That's and crazy. a box set of those figures. Of oh. Those characters. Hey, well, that's nice. Yeah. That bro got beard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. He's like, uh, yeah, actually, J. Michael, that's great. He's Alan Moore in figure form. This literally is Alan Moore. This is Alan Moore dressed like Rasputin. Yeah. Is, is this, this going to be Boog's new bearded civilian head sculpt? Could be. Yeah, this is a great, like, hobo head sculpt right here, you know? Or wise wizard. Hope, wise, homelessness. Yeah. He looks pretty wizened. You're right about that. Mr. Yes, homeless. This, uh, this is cool. You got some soft goods to him, you know, some Lego caves, but that's 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 all right. But look at this like mean Luke face. I'm sorry, Luke face. Mm. 
How funny is that? It's oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, Beast Boy, Wizard, Wizard of Shazam. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, there he is doing, doing some wizardry. And then uh, you get, you know, good, easy way for them to re release the uh, uh, Return of the Jedi Luke. There you go. He's ice skating. Here's another. This is like such a kit bash, too. This is like the farm boy Luke, like legs with. You know, one of the Jedi robes from like Qui Gon or Obi Wan. Very interesting. This looks like it's using the um, Jaina Solo from a while back, but with different arms. And that Jaina Solo, I think a lot of people would contend is a is a one of the best figures they've ever put out in Black Series, and they've just never done anything even close since. How about uh, Phase Two Stormtrooper and Clone and and uh, Battle droid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little army builder pack. Yeah. I'm sure Boog would have something to boast about his numbers on these squads. I don't know. Is he a big prequel collector, actually? I don't know about prequels. Yeah. I know he's got a lot of stormtroopers, but what's his what's his clone trooper number looking like? You know, literally the wrong person to ask. You know who you should ask? Mm. Boog. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, speaking of Boog, yeah, let's get into some legends real quick. Okay, okay. Because apparently I forgot to check my clock because I did not realize that it's chimichanga time. Oh, no. Bubs. <laughs> Sorry, man. Um, they're re-releasing uh, Deadpool from the movie and um, Wolverine, Fox Universe. Okay. Part of this new... Um, what do they call it? Marvel Legends Legacy Collection. Mm-hmm. Deadpool and Wolverine inspired Order. by Deadpool 2. There you go. And Wolverine. Easy re-releases, non-essential if you've already got the originals, but an easy way to, you know, get these back out there. This is probably a lot like that that uh like MCU set that they're doing too, you know, where it's like that's Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm surprised it's not under that umbrella, if I'm being honest. Yeah, truly. They probably think this will just sell better under the Deadpool banner, you know? Yeah, which it probably will. It will. I think they see that MCU pack. Just in time for the holidays. Available for pre-order those, those on Monday. Head sculpts, those Wolverine head sculpts suck. Yeah, see those me? things? Fucking terrible. Take a look at them? Let's see. They're pretty shit. Oh, no. Look Yikes. Man, way back. And, oh, look at, look at the mouth open one. That one's really fucking bad. Go to All mouth right. open one. You'll see it. You don't like I, that I, one? I, it's not good. Bro, this is like that Shazam meme. <laughs> this right, is well, no there good. you go. I mean, schools right. people Black Adam. It, he's like flying it, towards the camera. Yeah, when he's like screaming. Um, yeah, yeah it's cool. not the. It, it's a good, you know, base Wolverine or base, you know, Logan from the movies. It's fine. Definitely a great, great body. At at the very least, that's a good body yeah, yeah. to have, you know. And these these claws are really the best ones too. They do be claws. Mm-hmm. Um. Did you go over the three pack that went up for pre order? And we were all wrong. It ended up being a lot cheaper. Um, the, I the think shield, I did. Yeah, let me see. The shield three pack ended up being a lot. Yeah, we were all wrong, bro. Yeah, I think it's like seventy four ninety nine. I think it was. Yeah, it was seventy four ninety nine. Oh, okay. Pleasantly surprised. Eighty nine ninety nine. Would you look at that? Sometimes we will be wrong. Very rare. Us wrong? Never. Yeah, We're the yeah. number one Star Wars podcast. No, it's not rare, so live it up. We, but we don't print retractions either, so you get the information as it's current to us. Yeah, T. T Smith is saying that the those head sculpts are from the Jacket version. Yeah, they're old head sculpts. That's why they look so goofy, mm-hmm. is because they're, they're dated, you know, and um, yeah, it's missing the bone claws too. Oh, true, um, yeah. But, you know, that's what they got to do. It's a good way to start getting that budget together for when the actual, like, movie wave comes. I mean, this is all just even, you know, they're selling that, uh, this thing right here, as just pure movie hype, you know, off of what yeah. people have seen from the trailers, from the behind-the-scenes stuff, the title reveal, you know, this is all just... Trying to get out I mean, ahead it, of when the real rush is coming, you know. 
Yeah, it's a it's a it's a smart move. I just uh I just hope that there's an actual wave for the film. Um, yeah, and not just these two. Kind of. Yeah, true, it'd be, true. Honestly, if this is all we get, that's really fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Weird. April first, um, but when are these actually coming out? Oh, they go up on April first, so then we'll find out. But yeah, the Shield three pack, seventy five bucks, still ends up being around a hundred, you know, or close to between ninety and a and a hundred after shipping and tax and all that. But yeah, you know, post, 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 we, we were going by MSRP. You know, yeah, so. Pulse shipping sucks if you're not a Pulse member. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. The Watcher says they said in a press release that there will be a Deadpool and Wolverine wave. So. Oh, good. Can't awesome. wait to get that. That's good to hear because there there should be. So yeah, seventy five for this and ninety for the Last Command four pack. The Last Command. Yeah. There he is. There will be no more commands after this one. All right. So enjoy it while you got it. Amazing, amazing. And then I think the only other Hasbro thing was pretty pretty fun news was those uh, Transformers the fucking. Ninja Turtles ones, that's funny. Oh, this, yeah. Yeah, um, it kind of, it's cool, what they're doing is cool, that, like, I think the van comes with four different head sculpts, so you just have to buy the van four times. That's insane. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, and they're really expensive, too. I think this shit is, like, $70 or something. What? I think so, I think it's pretty expensive. That's, uh, terrible news. <laughs> I yeah. guess you really got to dig in on which is your favorite turtle. Would it make more when you when you said the name of it, or when I just saw them all together like this? I figured it was four pieces yeah. of the van that combined to make it, and it's like a huge van. You tell me it's <laughs> one. Could you basically four mini yeah, robots is, right? to form one giant robot? Is what you'd like, huh? Not like this, brother. So yeah, all right. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, one little thing. Free wagon, cool stuff. I guess a lot of people must have bought four because it sold out pretty quick. There you go. There is also a Transformers um, Ecto Trunk. There it is. There it is. Okay. Did I cut out? No, yeah. well, then none of neither of us are interested in this. That's one. Okay, okay. Well, I, and excuse me, I won't even ask you your thoughts on Frozen Empire. Okay, thank you. Which I hear is. Are, just, are, 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 are you, are you going to watch that, Poncho? You're you're a movie household. You're like a big going to the theaters type of person. Yeah, I went to the theater today. Uh, yeah, yeah, you go to the theater. But no, I won't watch it. Okay. Well. That's... <laughs> If it's That's like if it's you. on and I happen to be in the same room one day, then yeah, sure, why not? But uh, you? you're not you're not a, you're not a big buster. No, busting does not make me feel so no. good, to be quite honest. Um, okay. I was I was more of a fan of the the other brand that was coming up around the same time that never really quite took off. Indie darling, known as Masters of the Universe, or what are you talking about? No, oh, he actually cut out. I was like, this would be the perfect time for you to cut out. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Fabio. This sucks. All right, what did you say? <laughs> Don't leave us in suspense. What? Where did it cut out? Right before you said what it was. <laughs> oh. It was called Geist Blasters. No, oh, okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't have said anything that would have lived up to the hype at that point. All right, what's next? No, I guess that's not. enough for Hasbro. Um, we have any? Do, uh, um, do you want to do Mezco or McFarland? We can do some Mezco because there's there's pressing news. Is it? It's pressing. It's pressing pre- up against I, someone. I feel pressed by it. Yep. So maybe others will too if we talk about it. So if we'll just direct our eyeballs upward, look mm-hmm. to the skies for a yeah. sec. Okay. Cue that music. Um, let's talk Mezco for a second because there are a lot of things in stock at Mezco right now. Bunch of stuff like just came back into stock. Really? What do you think's happening? What do you think is happening with Mr. Mez? You think this is uh... any money? (laughs) 
Is this, this uh, is representative his... of all the money they have right here? It's a whole bars of gold and bricks of dollar bills. Well, one one could That's argue that stuff, uh, uh, came back into stock. One could argue unsold right, stock means they don't have money. It's like, it's like older <laughs> stuff. Robin, original version that's in a lot of retailers' hands right now. Yes. Yeah. And Beast Boy Roadblock did come back into stock. Um, the Spider Man Deluxe Edition is back in stock. Mm -hmm. Get him for Little retail. Yeah. Doctor Doom back in stock. Eh? Oh, okay. That's a good one. Uh, that's been in stock. The. Oh, okay. To get the uh, you know the new Robin that just uh, came out. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I don't know what he's saying. People were like, "Oh, look at this! It's the, it's the Barbarians thing," and then there's Batman thing. Have I just been cutting out this whole time? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> these are back in stock. Also, there you go. Yeah. That's all I mean to say. All right, I don't mean no harm. I just mean to inform, okay? Hey, because what if, speaking of harm, Oh, no. Why is it? It's like it's purposely being done to you. Does your roommate, like, dislike you or something? Is it every time you're trying to make a pun or state something, is your roommate, like, pressing a button to fuck with your internet? He's got a lag switch? Is this Halo 2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Halo 2 lag switch. yeah, dude. Oh, he's got host advantage, bro. That's true. It was, it's Gears it was, of War? It was, host shoddy advantage? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, would be one thing, it would be one thing if you were just cutting out, but it, it like cut out every time you're gonna say something important. Like, <laughs> my favorite movie of it... all time, <laughs> and that's why it's the greatest movie of all time. Okay, okay. <laughs> what about the Black Skulls Death Brokers? What about them? Oh, those are back. What about the Crow? Uh, back? Man of Steel, Superman, and yes, mm -hmm. Man Beast Boy. <laughs> Along with. I believe Destro. Yes, Destro is back in. Snyder cut back in. Uh, Wait, you forgot. Isn't isn't a high roller Gomez? Back dude, in yes, there? which is crazy. The high roller box. The Mezco twenty twenty one convention exclusive box. Um, I believe yeah, Fantastic Four also. God dang. What about Bishop to Q one twenty twenty four? That's what today. Else? That's right now. He's yeah, stock. that's the last day for court. Um, I, I, was he ever out of stock? That guy's like yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. On, that guy's yeah, like a lot of the stuff was out. on Amazon. But now that they've gotten their, you know, they've fulfilled their retailer orders, this must be what they have left. Um, I don't believe the turtles are back. They're still waitlisted, but they they, they were weren't exclusive. And a lot of the stuff that we just listed off was also not exclusive. So. Stands the reason that maybe if you just jump on the wait list, maybe they'll end up with extras and you'll you'll get it. Eh? Well, yes, why no, they're just they're just finding shit in the back, man. Why would I wait when I could buy Always it now for fifteen hundred dollars? Okay, <laughs> give him that DPCI. Tell him go check the back. Um, that I believe was pretty much it for me. No, you forgot about Popeye. <laughs> the Popeye. I, I hear you. I hear okay. you. The Sailor Man. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Hey, Popeye's back up for pre-order, bro. There he is. There he, he is. is. Popeye. You know him. You love him. You're probably a little creeped out by him. It's Popeye. Look at him. He's hyper realistic. I guess He's so. Rippy. He's yeah. ripped up. What if you met this guy? What would you do? Shake his hand, dude. Thanks for being my hero. What if that? You know what? That that almost begs the other biggest question in pop culture history. What if Zelda was a girl? Yeah. What if? A big, big. What if? Big. Man. What if? I wonder. I wonder, bro. <laughs> All right. Popeye back in stock. This is the original version too, not the. Uh, the, the white suit edition that came in like the tin. This is the original standard release. Does it really come with that uh with that like uh wheel? The the ship's wheel? Oh no. No no. Oh, they just made that, that up. Fucking, don't fucking show me that shit. Brick, they just made that up. It's Which is crazy to, because of how well like the band seems to fit around it. 
I know. Look at that. It's like it was. It was like it was supposed to be there, but they didn't do yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. He's he's going through a bit of a squall over there. Man, these guys. These guys are down to fucking make figures out of metal and fucking cold cast, but they won't give you a fucking ship's wheel. Yeah. Come on. Come on. It's a huge mold. Let's. They'd probably actually just make it out of wood, wouldn't they? Wouldn't you want a wood carved wheel? You. That'd be ideal. But yeah. beggars can't be choosers. That would be sure, ideal. Sure. Well, it's interesting that this is... It's basically a re-release. It's not like a new version going up. It's just a straight up... It's back. It's up for pre-order. They're doing another run of it. So they don't really do this very often. The other time I can think, like, top of my head would be, like, Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th. I randomly just went up as another pre-order one random Friday the 13th a couple years ago. So anything's possible with Mezco. So jot that down. Jot it. Get to jotting. Yeah, yeah. Take notes. All right. Mm. That's all. You got. You guys can avert your gaze back down to the ground. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, bring, <laughs> bring them on down. Don't, don't strain those 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 eyeballs. There's too much cloth for my peepers. Sure, sure. I understand. Um, I am regret to say. We got to talk McFarland real quick. Okay, right. that was a it's a really big reveal. It's a lot of people talking about it. Sure, um, sure, sure. You're probably we, talking we, about this Rocky Balboa, right? Yep, that's the one. Oh, that'll the okay. that movie get this, maniac. Get it off. You know what we're Everybody here for. Everybody loves movie maniacs, huh? Um, yeah, fuck the I, thing. Uh, you have, know what? Yeah, I, yeah. I want to say one thing about these movie maniacs. Okay, I wouldn't give them a hard time because obviously they're supposed to be statues. That's what they're supposed to be. So I'm not going to give it a hard time for being a statue. I'm giving it a hard time because you have no limitations and it doesn't ever look like the actors ever. <laughs> None of these movie maniacs look like any of the fucking actors. Like they're terrible. I don't know who's sculpting these things, but they obviously can't do realistic people because these guys look goofy as shit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That doesn't look like what? That right there. Yeah, I don't, I'm not so sure. Price, great question. Twenty four ninety nine. Oh my god! I guess the price reflects the quality. All right. Well, at least um, I know I, I'll buy this and feel good knowing I am one of fifty six hundred people that own this thing. All fifty six hundred of you. Um, all right. But real quick, there it is. Here's what we're really cooking with at McFarland. There it is. This was, I believe, shown or announced in the original DC Direct, DC Collectibles, BTAS line, but never came out, never was released. And now, there he is. Look, it's the, the Joker's mobile. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to need to... It's the Joker, baby. It's the Joker mobile, baby. <laughs> I'm going to need to talk to Poc Photos at some point and beg him to ask McFarlane about all the other unreleased DC shit. Because the fact that we're doing things now that we never even got to see, I think I think that's correct. I think we were told that this was going to happen like in mm -hmm. a tease or something at a DC yeah. collectible panel. Yeah, but yeah, nothing exactly. never came of it. So I would love to like ask, have somebody ask him like, what about everything else that didn't come out from DC collectibles that was supposed to? Um, Etrigan, for the love of God, please. Um, okay. it's cool. it's what cool. if they just brought back DC icons. You know what? What if now you're knocking my socks off? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you're really making me Joker eyes. How is this not Jokerized? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they, they'll do it. They'll this, do it. This is no the blueprint, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Matt Morgan. You know what we're talking about, huh? It's the real blueprint. Move over, Matt Morgan. This is it. Um, Shout out to this guy in the comments right there. This is for four inch figures, right? When have they ever made four inch figures in this line? Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? <laughs> I knew you'd get it. Brian. Toys. Let me introduce you to a little something called Mezco Toys Five Points. They've got a whole Batmobile and four figure set. Those are three and quarter inch. They look cool, man. They look good. Mm hmm. Um, that is all. Uh, oh my god, Toddy Mac's gonna have a panel. 
Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have a panel. I'm surprised he didn't save this reveal for that panel. Why wouldn't this have been like the big thing? Well, it's just a teaser. The full reveal is not. Maybe it'll shown. be at the Maybe panel. it comes with a figure, like the the Bat Cycle re-release did. No, actually, that came separately. So yeah, maybe I'm lying. Um, but maybe it's coming with a full wave, kind of like that that set did. This um, line, oh Jason asks, you don't you don't think DC icons from McFarland would be good, but. No, he probably wouldn't like it because they're small. He this, wants this, his figures all big and chunky. This line must be really, really successful for Target to want to exclude. Yeah, dude, for things. sure. This shit's got to be huge. Which is crazy because they also like pay warm like crazy there. They sell out really quick at first, but then they they, they sit there. There's a lot of chases that end up sitting there too. Like Yeah, like different, different color variations. They, they definitely over order from McFarlane. Listen up, Jason S., if you're the reason I don't get that damn Etrigan, you and I will have words and they'll be unpleasant. I need it. I don't care if the what? paint looks like chalk. I need that DC Icons Etrigan immediately. I need it. Um, I, I for of- one, wish they would bring back the, the DC Lucha Libre line. Oh, yeah, that was a fun little line. I, I never knew about it until you told me, or I didn't remember it, at least until oh, you told me. Um, sh- what could have been? What could have been? I, I'm saying. Sh- shout out to Brian and uh, Wrestling Hound. Woo! Being the only people that knew the reference I was making. Shout sure. out to the uh, two of the biggest wrestling heads we know. Yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> How? Well, I would have thought. Get, well, <laughs> get a wrestling reference. <laughs> Bro. I love it. McFarlane has to find it. a way to put himself out as a McFarlane Jokerized figure. I mean, otherwise, what is it for? He's got to do it. Yeah. He's got to do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, okay. What a segue. There you go. How about if we move on something a little more instamashi in nature? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's check this out. Full power Frieza pre-orders close in two days. P, what's up with that? Well, if you can believe it, the full power Frieza pre-orders close in two days. <laughs> Are, did did you, um, I, you know, I wanted to ask you, Poncho, did you finally make the jump? Are you just doing P-Bandai now? Or are you doing third-party sites? What's going on? Why are you pre-ordering this thing? Yeah, it's P Bandai. Unless it's like infinitely cheaper on third party. Like with King Cold, I did I did third party because it's cheaper. Okay, okay. But full power Frieza, I mean, you could you could argue that like before shipping it's cheaper. Um but uh I don't know. Full power Frieza on import sites is like nine thousand nine hundred yen or something. So that's like what, seventy five bucks, and then shipping would make it like a like a cool hundred. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll just, I'll just do whatever with King cold. I saved like $30. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I just, their, their shipping has been on point, man. They're, they're ahead of everybody lately. I don't I think would hope so. They make out. the figures. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, like, why, why was this always, why wasn't this always a thing? Why were people beating them? They're I have speculations nice. that it was just like a transition period. Um, between just like the program rolling out or not, you know that that's what makes the most sense to me. Like it wasn't going to be overnight, uh, but like taking like a like a, a fiscal year for it to finally transition over makes a lot of sense for something as huge as like worldwide shipping. Yeah, they 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 nailed it. They nailed it at, at the very least, and uh, it's been nice because you know before it was like, oh, this one P Bandai did it first and then like oh this one uh china uh sellers got it first and like it's been pretty consistent for the past few months where it's just been all all p bandai being being first oh yeah so this is the last frieza then right no you you think no they'll they'll do it i know after this but They'll redo Gold Frieza. Um, no, no, but I mean, yeah, yeah. does this complete all of his transformations, all of his stages? Not at all. What? We, we still have a, a manga only change so far that needs to that needs to happen 
in an anime so that we can get it in figure form. Which one? What are you talking about? Black. Oh, black. Okay, sorry. I thought you were talking about. Oh black. no, but I mean, like you know. <clears throat> okay. Other than that one, is this the last one? Uh, no. Uh, they'll no. do a version where he's cut in half for sure. Yeah. It's gotta happen. That would be cool. I was. What I if was it's like, another DLC situation where you get one half with one figure and the other half with a different figure? Dude, I can't even imagine like what they would. <laughs> what they would well, do. Calm down, like, Ray, Calm down. Let's I see. really thought that they would. Here. I really thought that they would include like just a breakaway torso and a breakaway like bicep mm. that 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 has like cut off parts in it. Like I really thought that would come with this. Um, but like the only character to make sense to give that DLC to would be a Goku. But like you know he's yeah. already out. So <laughs> if it came with like it's that Goku that Goku would have been great. But good, good for health. Uh, yeah, that shit is definitely I canon. Don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't mean I don't mean to offend, but it is 100 canon. It is in the manga. I don't I don't know what makes it more canon than uh, than it being written by them. I don't understand. Uh, I can understand not liking it though. I know a lot of people don't like it. It's got controversial uh, transformation, but it is 100 canon. Absolutely, it's not even not even a question. It's a, it's factual. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they could really stretch it out. And uh, Toriyama, yeah, Toriyama wrote Black Freezer. There you go. Sure. Absolutely. There was that one. There's also this one. Uh, your shoe is <laughs> it's lagging really bad. Uh, I would, I would like it if they did Freeze's appearance in the Broly movie at the very beginning, where he doesn't have like his battle armor look. He's just like he doesn't have like the, like the shoulder pauldron things or whatever i'd really like that well, that'd be cool that, that, that would be nice and you could do like a like a like a taken down like release you know it could be like a 35 dollar one just do him without the pauldrons and like do like limited hands and like maybe like two head sculpts like a normal and then like a laughing one or something yeah i yeah. could see that that'd be nice yeah 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 uh yeah Let's this this next one is just uh, another Vegeta. It looks great. But they updated the head sculpt to be more on model. Fantastic. I love it. And it's going to be a, a budget release. Yeah, see, 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 good, good for health. I knew that that's what you were going to say. But even if it was Toyotaro, let's, it, it, it doesn't change the fact that it would still be canon. It's a part of the actual story. I mean, if if uh, if if you know personally you don't like it, or you're not interested in it, you don't fuck with it. That's another story, but it does not change the fact that it would still be canon. It's a part of the the story, you know. Uh, but I can understand people not liking it. It's a, uh, you know, it's it's per personal personal taste, not your tempo, not your tempo. Understandable. But even if it was Toyotaro, and like if Toyotaro continues the story without Toriyama, it doesn't make it not canon. It's a uh, if if you just don't fuck with it after that point though, it makes perfect sense. I know a lot of people that don't um they don't want to read Berserk anymore now that Kentaro Miura passed away, whether whether Kentaro wrote for his predecessor to for his uh for his uh uh underling to, to continue without him. Um I know some people don't care whether the story is the same or not, whether it's canon or not. They just don't want to continue and that that's that's understandable. You know, it's just a lot of people hold creators legacies to like a to like a, a much higher level than they do like once they're gone so i don't i don't i don't blame you for not fucking with it or when people don't want to read berserk anymore because he passed away it's understandable but uh, it, it's it's still canon you know it's part of the story it's just uh you know it, it it might not be by the og himself anymore but it's it's still the story and you know for for all the hate that toyotaro does get you know he was chosen by toriyama and that was his underling, you know, and it's it's that's that's his boy. Um, same with the guy that took over Berserk for Miura. I, I fucking forget his name, but but you know that guy was 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 trained and 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 brought up by Miura himself. So these guys, they all pick they all pick who they believe in and who they train and you know trust the most. And you know, hope, hopefully they do right by us. But if uh if if you know people aren't into it after they pass, it's perfectly understandable. You know, it, it makes sense. I it just. That legacy, it's hard to live up to, you know? Has Berserk changed since Bro's passing, though? I don't know. With, uh, the, the art is completely different. The story 
uh, because you know it's Miura's art is so meticulous and like so unique. You know, the detail is not the same as Miura when he was writing it. Um, the story is supposed to be what it was always been before Miura passed away. He told his assistant, you know, the guy that helped him the most from Studio Gaga with with Berserk, um, what the story was going to be. So he continued on with his outlines that he told him what, what was going to happen going forward. And he says, I'm on the OG Kush diet only Toriyama san for me. Yeah, it's understandable. You know, it's understandable. I don't, I don't, I don't blame people. Like I said, for when people say they don't want to read Berserk anymore, I get it. Or people don't want to read Dragon Ball anymore. I understand it. It, it, it makes sense. I mean, it's, no, it's oh, <clears throat> good, good for health. Um, it's not just, it's not just super. Um, I'm sure Poncho was about to say the same thing. He hasn't watched anything. He's never watched like any of his anime, really. He's only watched a couple of episodes of like everything he's ever done. It's not just Super or Dragon Ball Z or or Kai or whatever it is. He was just not a big anime person. Am I am I right, Poncho? Yeah, he didn't watch anime a lot. I mean, we don't have to spend like fifteen minutes talking about this shit. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just it's just good good interaction. You know, got to just we just put to get deep in the weeds on this. You know, especially uh, because there's not a lot of notes. I mean, the bottom line is. It, it's a canonical character like he, like Toriyama wrote the writes the outline for everything super and like a major plot point like Frieza getting a whole new form is part of the is part of the outline it like he's even gone on record saying that it's a, you know in classic Toriyama fashion like uh black uh black Frieza is inspired by like credit card debt or some stupid shit like that so like it's it's like you know <laughs> it's like that's the most Toriyama <laughs> shit I've ever heard. That's hilarious. Original Frieza was inspired by uh, real estate moguls, and his new form is inspired by credit card debt. So it is what it is. Uh, anyway, all that being said, here's a new Vegeta. It's going to be 35 bucks. <laughs> Dude, I'm liking all this $35 shit. Like the stuff with One Piece, this, like, it's awesome. You know, and it just... Uh, I love that it's going to put other brands on their ass. Like, what what are you doing at $25 when this is $35? Come on, man. I was kind of hoping that this Vegeta would get, like, a, would get, like, a whole new sculpt. Like, I get, you know, f- like, fiscally why it's a good idea to just give him an updated more on model head sculpt. But, like, mm-hmm. you know, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's like a, it's all, it's like. It's a little underwhelming, but then again, it's it's a it's a budget release, so like it's good, mm-hmm. and like this will mark the first time it's that not Vegeta even has been out. at that point. It's just whelming. Yeah, sure. This marks the first yeah. time that Vegeta will have a budget release figure. No, I think. Mm. Do these oh. like non base forms work well as these budget releases? Do these sell well? Or do people prefer like just a standard ass Vegeta? I mean, it, at this point in Super, like they're in their blue form more than they are in their base yeah. form, so it makes sense for these to be like the anchor figures, I guess. Sure, sure. All right, well there you go. That's uh, that's Vegeta. You guys uh, <coughs> seen GXK uh, yeah. TNE? Uh, real quick, hold on. Oh. Uh, Brad, correct me. The mm-hmm. superhero Vegeta oh. and the super Vegeta were. Or regular releases too. Okay, that makes sense. The first time a blue Vegeta, I guess. Yes, blue Vegeta oh. is is a regular release. Oh, if he was green, he would die. It's true. Good for health. Funnily enough, in Japan, he's also pronounced Freezer too. Yeah, it's just course. here that they that they change it. More phonetic. And yet, uh, pronunciation cooler. Still, we'll just keep it just how it is. <laughs> uh, Punch, are you watching this movie or what? This looks what? like a Poncho is going to watch this type of movie. You going to watch this? What movie? Godzilla vs. Kong. GXKTNE, bro. Uh, I almost watched it today. Um, right. But my wife was like super tired. We were going to do like a double feature. I saw uh, oh Late Night God. with the Devil at like 3.50. Mm-hmm. And then that got out at 5.30. And then Godzilla started at 5.30. But she was like too tired. So we're just going to watch it on Sunday. I'm carrying your child. Can you get over this Godzilla guy? Come on. Yeah. Well, Come on. Warranted. <laughs> <laughs> um, this looks good. My roommate saw. It. He said he he enjoyed it. Uh, it's said still it. Vegeta. I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Oh. No, I, no. For for me, it's Godzilla and Kong. Oh okay, god. 
<laughs> Bruh. I'm trying to kill it over here, but I'm being prevented. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Here it is. Roaring... GXKTNE. I, I love that this is a thing. Roaring and ready for theatrical releases at select AMC theaters near you. Roaring and ready? Oh my god. I don't know if I can handle that. That's crazy. Are the, These are just the old figures, right? Yeah, these are the old ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they are. Like, they don't even look like this anymore. <laughs> Get your hands on the newest Godzilla X Calling New Empire Tamashii Nations SH Monster Wars figures at your local AMC theaters on what March 29th. The they're gonna have a they're gonna sell these at the theaters. There you go, Poncho, pick them up. There Are they go. going to every AMC theaters? Nope. Select, call ahead. Poncho's chomping at the bit for these ones. I own these already. Okay, well, well you just want to fuck on everybody? That's cool. These are not... Nice guy, Poncho. I mean, anybody from 2017 owns these, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> Uh, uh, old man. Man. Oh, old I don't man. know. I'm just <laughs> Gorilla Stoner six six six. Great oh, name. Hell yeah, brother. Great <laughs> name. <laughs> what AMC theaters have these called for near me, and they all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Could you imagine Gorilla Stoner yeah. calling this fucking AMC? He's like, you guys got those monster hearts? <laughs> Excuse me. I'd like to speak yeah. to Mr. AMC Theaters, please. Sp br patch me over to Amy AMC. She'll know what to do. <laughs> of the New England AMC. Of, of the New England AMCs. Yes. Um, all right. I guess this guy has them at location for uh, $99.99 each. Imagine, imagine you're going to a movie theater and all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow. I think I'm going to get this $100 action figure. $99 each? Yeah. The fuck do these things do? They look like uh, from the previous movie. Wait, what? Weren't these at retail at Target? The Kong was like sixty bucks, wasn't it? At Target forever I'm pretty ago. Pretty sure it was like fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Pretty sure. Brad what is going? The Godzilla I can understand. Knowledge. Kinda, but I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like the biggest SH Monster Arts like aficionado. <laughs> no. Fucking Ray. I can't wait to ask the AMC employee for the one with the better paint. Fucking <laughs> 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 fucking cap. I'm from 2017 and I don't own these things for ignoring my existence, Poncho. Who is that? You're welcome, by the <laughs> way. <Brian>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that Kong went on clearance. I saw I saw fucking Gary get it for like Hey, Gary got it for like eleven dollars. I think Gary got it for like eleven dollars. Damn that Gary, such a lucky man. What a good guy. I think if you're an AMC A list member, you can also skip to the front of the line and just get these before everybody else. Hear that, Ray? There you go. <laughs> man, Beast Boy, ask their Ronnie for their discount code. Shout out to Ronnie. I wasn't going to the back of damn Target to get <laughs> like two Kongs from God's from GameStop for less than thirty. Oh my god! Yeah, these are they are also clearing out the warehouse. Let's get them out. Let's put them out at AMC. Get get Grandma who's trying to buy some toys for the yeah. kid who just saw a GXK TNE. There you go. That's the yeah. name. Yeah, selling this at AMC Jesus. is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a hundred. You know what? I didn't think it was nuts until I saw that the price was a hundred dollars. Yeah, that, that's nuts, bro. That's if I'm crazy. honest, Rick, I'm priced out. You know. Yeah, like, like you know, to me, like, if anything, this just kind of opens the window. Like, why don't MCU figures get sold there? Like, while the movies are releasing, that'd be pretty smart. Who does the? Is it Playmates that does the kids line for these? Why don't they have? I think so. Kind of thing going it's on. It's either it's either Playmates or Jazzwares. I think it's of, Playmates. You know why they're not? You know why they're a hundred dollars each? Why? Because they sell Skittles for seven fucking dollars there too. There so you know. <laughs> seven dollars. I think you're being pretty kind. To give to Bruh, I bet this wasn't even. I bet this wasn't even like something they came up with with the studio. I bet AMC came to them separately and is like, "Hey, can we get a <laughs> stock of these figures and we'll mark them up at like premium theater prices?" Ship us a pallet. Can you imagine? The fucking band I was like, yeah, charge 50 bucks. And AMC just looked at them and went, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was on from like so. Sony 
company store when you're like at the studio you can go in and everything is like super overpriced but you have that employee discount if you work there so it brings it back down to like retail how much are those uh weird popcorn buckets the dune ones it depends on the size of the bucket. Like, you know, like they have like the Marvel ones. Mm-hmm. I think it depends on like how big they are, but I think the Dune ones were twenty nine ninety nine. How much was the Blue Beetle one? Do you remember? I think it was the same, like twenty nine ninety nine. Could you imagine like, wanna, seeing like say. a popcorn bucket for like thirty bucks, like a big ass Blue Beetle popcorn bucket for thirty dollars, and then you see like a Godzilla toy that's three times more. How does that even work, bro? <laughs> Brad, it says the Dune one was forty. It, no, it says it says right here on AMC's website it was thirty dollars. Oh my god, Brad got taken for a ride. Some AMC employee was like, "Yeah, it's uh forty dollars." Somebody charged him ten dollars to fuck it. Somebody, somebody <laughs> looked at Brad and was like, "Somebody looked at Brad and said, this country gentleman, charge him forty. <laughs> Specimen like him, that's the Muad'Dib. He's got an extra ten. Mind trying to rip me off, dude? They might. Where'd you go to Tyson's Corner, Brad, or what? Where'd you go? <laughs> Cat, fucking Brian, that's wild, P. Brad, <laughs> did you, oh, uh, did you, uh, did you fuck it? <laughs> Ray, these guys are both $75 on BBTS. Price match? <laughs> Do they price match at AMC? Uh, let's see. Let me that's show you this website. <laughs> Imagine bringing... Ooh. Bringing a receipt for Skittles from a 7 Eleven and going, Can you price match this? <laughs> now, what, what you do is you try to get into price match the Kong and the and the Godzilla first. Right, right. And once they agree to that, that's when you pull out the Dollar Tree receipt and you're like, I see those cookie dough bites <laughs> are, are $17.99. What if I told you I got them for a dollar at the yeah, Dollar bro. Tree before I came? No, in? this is dumb. Like, if you don't bring in your own concessions to a movie theater like you're doing it wrong like the same way like you should know to not buy action figures at a movie theater and you come in with your own or you could be like that guy during wakanda forever that brought in a fucking lasagna and ate it next to me bro that's right i forgot about that guy the the lasagna burps that went on throughout that whole film were fucking disgusting what's worse lasagna at wakanda forever or beans at cars too what do you think oh man (laughs) <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you, those beans might cause might cause farting. I don't know. Maybe it is you know what? The the beans are not as surprising as the lasagna, but the beans might end up being worse in the end. <laughs> Did you prefer lasagna burps or bean farts? Ooh, uh, uh, I go with lasagna Jesus. burps. If I'm honest, if we're I I guess so. You know that is terrible. Come on, Rick. J. Michael Johnson. Anything. J. Michael Johnson is saying that I got the Kung Fu Panda takeout box and it was like 25 bucks. Yeah, depending on the size, the, the price differs, but it's usually 25 to 40, depending on like how big it is or how elaborate it is. Like I have the the Doctor Strange cube <laughs> for Trevor. <laughs> Lasagna forever. <laughs> Lasagna at at Wakanda Forever is worse than sorry, cut off then. You forgot to ask him at the theater what their lasagna policy is. Some F the family was eating boiled crabs at the dollar theater. (laughs) 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 They were having a crab boil in the theater. (laughs) Bro, that's fucking crazy. (laughs) Crab boil? What kind of bougie (laughs) shit is that? How can you be bougie and cheap at the same time? <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> crap, boy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. How does that work? Is it Christopher yeah. close to you? You probably went to the same theater, Pancho. Maybe nothing. Nothing is funnier than when we <laughs> saw Jurassic World in an empty theater, and this old lady chose the seat directly next to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and How then was this lady? Dude, she was she was like probably like 60 or 70 or something but she she the next seat this was before assigned seating <laughs> and oh, then no. and then when the, the i'm pretty i'm sure i talked about this when it happened but like 
And then when the when like the theater actually like filled up, everybody just like sat around us. So the people right in front of us, uh, like it was like two girls, and then one of them always leaned over and was like, "That's the truck from the first movie." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so stupid. Oh, Oh, man. (laughs) J. Michael Johnson, not the crawdads and scrimp. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. I don't know if I've ever had any any crazy meals other than me, like, sneaking in, like, full fast food combos. Yeah, Yeah, I've done, like, a McChicken. Yeah. Yeah, I've had like them. back when I was in my in my soda days, I had like a McDonald's like large Dr. Pepper inside this like big puffy jacket that I had that had like really deep pockets on the inside. And it was just like sitting there upright. Oh, and yeah. I had the straw like peeking up and I was, it was great. I would have made Poncho proud in high school. My movie theater had a fucking Burger King right next door to it. So mm. It's a wonderful restaurant. Burger King. <laughs> Grab a Whopper. Wonderful and restaurant. Walk straight. <laughs> wonderful restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, and we'd just go in there with fucking Burger King all the time. T- today was when like I the was first in, uh, time since like high school. That was right around the time that Dane Cook was a thing. I know, I know, right. So as a result of one of his jokes, we called our local high school Burger King the BK Lounge. The BK Lounge. There you go. Yeah, it's it's where all the drug deals and cigarettes smoking went down. It was really cool. <laughs> BK Lounge, man. Come on. Oh, my. Everybody's got to do that, Brian. He said nothing beats Poncho smuggling in and out across the country. No, or- absolutely not. It was. I wasn't smuggling it, baby. I was wearing that proudly like a badge of honor. Mm-hmm, What's that mm-hmm. smell? It's me in the cabin with In N Out, baby. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's called you should have turned around. It's called Animal Style. <laughs> it's called, Bro, it's real. I did get the shit. I went style uh, too. <laughs> I went a couple weekends ago to get some In N Out and then I, I went to like one of the, the state beaches and you have to like go through like security to like go and find a parking spot. And I'm like paying the dude and I'm like, Yeah, I'll get a day pass. And he's like, Oh, I'm sorry to inform you, there's an extra charge for today. One double double. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you, ah, he's, ah, he's messing or whatever. But in and out is is actual currency to get into state beaches here in California. There you go. Yeah. Said, oh, we got it. Shroomy saying Jolly Bee smuggling is better. Of course it is. Poncho does that more than he does in and out. That's true. I really do. Bro, in and out is the perfect American hamburger. You can get the hell out of here, Plastic Thunder. What are, ah, what, I, I what like I like other hamburgers more than In and Out, to be quite honest. Okay, there's a matter of them tasting better, you liking them better, all of that. But objectively, it is the great, perfect American hamburger that In and Out. It is Americana. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Five guy, five guys better than In and Out. Ah. Ew. I don't know. You know it, it'll it, it it loses on the money side alone. Yeah, that it's so overpriced. Wildly unless you're, expensive. Unless you're fucking loading your burger up, like you don't have to. If you just want like a regular ass burger, there's better options. Like not everybody likes a fully you know loaded burger. Some some people just like meat, cheese, bun, sauce. And on that front, you're getting like a all right one from Five Guys that could be cheaper elsewhere. Yeah, like Five Guys is good. Don't get me wrong. I always tell people it's not like I'm saying like I've ever had a disgusting experience there, but it's like, mm-hmm. bro, I'm not paying 15 bucks for a fucking hamburger. Mm-hmm. Get out of your mind. Like getting an extra scoop of those fries is not worth that price. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Go on the spot right now. Shout out to Swenson's. 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 Another all time great American burger place. Yeah, that's right. You ever had an olive on top of your foil wrapped barbecue and tartar sauce burger, Poncho? What the shit did you just say? Cookout over In and Out, Br- Brian. You're smoking crack cocaine, brother. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you kidding me? Where? <laughs> that is just that is is as insane as Josh saying <laughs> Carl's Jr. is his favorite burger. Please. And he only had it once. <laughs> and he only had it once. <laughs> Dude, oh, I do shit. not like I do not like Carl's Jr.'s burgers at all. I like their chicken sandwiches, their tenders, <laughs> but I do not like their burgers at all. 
Did, you know what it is? They always visually look so amazing in those. Honestly, out of all the people that do these commercials, their burgers always look fucking insane. Yeah, those look juicy as shit, and they're fucking never that. They're the opposite every time. Carl's Jr. and Hardee's was like really good when I was like fourteen, and you know my yeah. parents or somebody else's parents are buying it for me, like during yeah, a sleepover or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, man, this fucking Western burger is amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. The Western burger, bro. The Western burger yeah, was they... good. I will say that, like, now. But I, I don't do barbecue sauce because it's got too much sugar. So oh, I, don't, bro, I don't even come do that. On. <laughs> bro, it's all sugar. Oh my God. <laughs> Fabio, so, where's the line? Come on. I'm trying to save you from making some irreparable decisions. <laughs> oh, wow. Quaman Qu- Taylor, I cannot believe this. Quaman Taylor's a, a longtime supporter of the podcast. You're from the Bay Area? That's crazy. He says, I'm in Oakland. Shut down the first in and out in history due to crime. Yeah, oh, everything's right. getting shut down in, in Oakland because of crime. They just opened up a fucking Cane's uh, chicken fingers place, and that, oh, yeah. closed down because of, that, that closed down because of crime already, I think. So, yeah. pretty shitty, man. The Stay real crime is how there. little sauce they give you at Raisin Cane's. Well, you gotta, uh, you gotta get two. You gotta get Man, two. You gotta get that kid size drink cup and ask them to fill it with six sides. I'm about to Tell ban Man Beast Boy sauces. immediately. What do you say? Read the slander, Rick. First of all, Which how one? dare you? The Shake Shack one? No. More like Jolly See You Later? Oh, no. I don't know if I like that. I, I really will Man time Beast you out, Boy. and I'm not joking. Man Beast Boy, how could you do this? Man Beast Boy stays having like the wildest takes tonight. Have have you have you eaten there, Man Beast Boy, or are you just not a like what 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 is it? Are you gonna tell me that you tried the spaghetti and you didn't like it? That's not yeah, fair. You know, look, Man Beast Boy says I took a bus, all caps for emphasis for emphasis. I took a bus when I was in L.A. just to try this In and Out. Should have stayed on the bus. Fries were good. Nobody ever says the fries are good at In and Out. That's how I know this whole thing is, is based on false potential. Okay? The fries are easily the worst part of, about In and Out at base and, level. And even then, when you joke. animal style them, they're not that bad. You get them animal style, you get them well done, you get some chopped chilies on them. Brother, now you're cooking some fries. You're now cooking you're with gas, baby. Yeah. Yeah, Kwaman, you know what's so funny is that's exactly what Bug told me. Boots on the ground, should have went to WonderCon. I didn't have a place to stay, and it was like kind of last minute. Like, stay with me, bro. Let's go. Yeah, you, me, bunkies. Wait, no. Actually, yeah, you can. Totally can. Yeah. That new bacon chicken sandwich rules? What's, what are you talking about? Where? Where's, where's that at? Where's that at? Why aren't you, uh, why aren't you putting this on, man? Why are you, B- this on? BH, where's that from? Yeah, what are you talking bacon chicken? What are you talking about? Raising yeah. canes? Is that is that what you're talking about? Oh, there's no way. Why would they have bacon at raising canes? Jolly oh, Bees. Oh my god. Jolly Bees has a bacon chicken sandwich. Oh my god. Checkers you know, has best fries. I, fries I, I, a lot, I'll fuck so. with that. Yeah. Checkers has check fries. Here. I don't know that I've had a Checkers or a Rally's burger in years. Truly years. Well, I I know where I'm gonna go eat with my girlfriend this weekend. Gotta go have that fucking chicken bacon sandwich. I'm born Tatum bringing it back to toys. What's up with Nintendo <laughs> Game Shipping? Thirty dollars for delivery by foot. <laughs> Thirty dollars. What, 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 what the fuck did you order? A, a human? That was gonna cost you thirty dollars. So yeah, sometimes Nintendo Games is you know they're they're fucking up sometimes, man. Like <laughs> they've they've had a checkered past. Speaking of checkers, Dude, yeah. best fries in the game. Oop. <laughs> you could really forget fucking Brad. Brad one time waited like fucking three months for them to ship out a package. It's true. Hey, should should have asked him. <laughs> oh, real quick. I'm bringing it back to burgers real quick. Steak and Shake is a fantastic burger. Steak and Shake is good. Steak and shake. I, ste- I like and those kind of burgers. Fries are great, too. I like Smash Burgers. They have the best seasoning is what it is. Mm, yeah. I like, I like Smash Burger. I like... I like Steak and Shake. There's a place here called Freddy's, I think. Uh, that's basically the same thing as Steak and Shake. And I, and Culver's. I love Culver's. Culver's is Culver's, so good. Uh, I've yeah, heard I of remember, Culver's. I remember Pharaoh would always talk about Culver's. Man, stop eating that In-N-Out, man. We got fucking Culver's over here, man. Culver's, Culver's restaurant chain. Let's is good. To be, I, would, yeah. I would eat Culver's over in and out to be, to okay, be quite yes, honest. This is very Midwest. Yeah, it's Wisconsin cheese. Dude, Concrete what? mixer. Trevor just said the wildest comment of the night. <laughs> I, I cannot believe this. 
somebody's upping Arby's right now. <laughs> As Arby's, the best? Double Trimmer. beef and cheddar. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hold on. It is delicious. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. He might be cooking here. Uh, it's delicious, no. but not the best. Are you coming? Come, come on. Bro, come on. I had, I think I've had Arby's maybe like twice in my life, and both of them were on road trips. And both of them had me fucking stop and looking for the next rest stop right away. No, oh, the first time I had Arby's ever, I got like crazy food poisoning. <laughs> oh my God. The, the last time I had Arby's, I thought I was going to have a heart attack and I was goaded into going by Brian and Emma <laughs> because they had a, you remember a few years ago when they had that like viral sensation, the meat mountain? <laughs> I've heard of the meat sure, mountain. Sure. Yes. I went and got it and I kid you not, three bites in, I was like, dude, my fucking chest <laughs> I can't. I can't. I was like at my peak fatness. I was like, bro, this is uh, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> this <laughs> doesn't <shit>. feel good. <clears throat> I gave it to my uncle who was living with us at the time, and would fucking eat a shoe if I gave it to him. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was not good. It was, That's it was, uh, it was too much. I'm 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 sure it would have been better in moderation. No, um, well, maybe. Anything I'm worth doing is worth overdoing, so just doing uh, it J- regular didn't do it. Jason S. with a, <laughs> with a great suggestion. A&W. Fuck yeah, dude. A&W. You know, my rules. community college had an <laughs> A&W nearby. It's the only place I've ever like seen an A&W. And it, was, it was fine. I don't you remember don't... really. It Trevor, a huge impression. Trevor clarifying with one of the wildest statements I've ever heard in my life. Oh, not the best burger. Best meat sandwiches. <laughs> There's multiple. You know, you know what the problem is with A and W. There's not that many of them. No. The rare sighting. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll maybe I'll do Arby's again one of these days. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a shot on Trev's recommendation. White Castle gives you deadly gas. I've heard nothing but awful fucking things about White Castle. So, well, White Castle is a very different experience because you're going for like a body count. You're going for many, many burgers, a, a sheer number of them. See, this and is yeah, what that'll I mean. leave you feeling pretty weird. This is what I mean. Look at Brad. Brad doesn't even know. Yeah, there's an A and W. That's true. Yeah, that's that's like the thing. There's just so little mm-hmm, of them mm-hmm. that some people always go like A and W has a restaurant. Like, yeah, man, they got burgers and shit. It's yeah. owned by. The same company that owns KFC, I think. So, the number one mug podcast on the internet. <laughs> for a, an extended period of time. How about if we bring it over? Friend of the show, Lago, always showing off. Oh man, cool stuff. Is this it, the Tonson thing you were talking about? We talked about this last yeah, week. Yeah, clear pictures. Same okay. shit. They were. <laughs> right. um, there is there is one thing I wanted to talk about um, before we get out of here. It involves. Of one of Fabio's favorite websites it. on the internet, um, somebody over on your beloved Reddit. I sent it in the in the chat. Did you? Um, yeah. Somebody over on your beloved Reddit found something and was quite shocked. Oh my! While you're doing that, though, that logo thing right there, uh, Extreme Sets is letting you pick their next background. So it's all the stage, like a few stages from Street Fighters. It's pretty so, cool. Um, go vote. Pretty cool that you get Street to vote. Fighter. Awesome. The Street Fighters. You know? <laughs> Jada. Yeah, it's pretty great. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right. But how about something? Something is afoot over at Storm Collectibles. Speculative, but interesting. I keep hoping it was a lie. But the Mortal Kombat license disappeared from the Storm Collectibles official website. Mama it's rough. Mia. There's been a lot of rumblings about a certain company picking up Mortal Kombat. Who? A certain Street Fighter related company. What? Owned by one Jeffrey. Mm-hmm. You talking about Jeff Jada? That's what people people up. The streets is talking. I, They're saying. Crazy. They're that's saying. Crazy. I think, well, the, the thing about that is I think Jada could make very good Mortal Kombat figures. They they could. And uh, yeah. that June actually likes the 
yeah. the property. You know, that's when he puts his all into it, baby. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where this is going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, that'd be cool. But it also is Warner Brothers just being weird with licensing right now, too. Because remember, Mortal Kombat is owned by Warner Brothers. Now. Yeah, by Warner. So it could mm-hmm. be them just pulling licensing for a while ahead of, like, there's a new movie coming out. If Jada were to do Mortal Kombat, what are the what are the odds that they're even allowed to do video game stuff? If Jada was doing Mortal Kombat, why wouldn't it be the more why wouldn't it be the video game stuff? I think because totally the studio <laughs> because the studio is like, we got this movie coming out, we need movie figures. Ah. You want the license, you gotta be like it happens all the time. NECA had to do stuff like that with like Predator. Well that's true, but like I I from everything we've we've heard and asked June personally on on our very own show, like sure. all of his stuff is like personal passion projects, like that. Sure, and, sure. And he he said he would never do live action oh. uh, figures. Okay, that's not okay. something he would do. Well, there's a loophole. Okay, Mortal so Kombat if is live doing action. Capcom. <laughs> what are the chances they pick up a little Dragon's Dogma? There you go. Uh, we'll get you with me, Poncho. Answer the question. None. D- D- Dogma? <laughs> oh, D- Dogma? Who would they make? <laughs> you create a character. Who would they make? <laughs> the do- um, the dragon, you know. Oh uh, yeah, the dragon from Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, yeah. he's he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's, he's got this crazy rhetoric, rhetoric he keeps spouting off. He's very very dogmatic. <laughs> dogmatic, systematic. Yeah. Oh, that one's cool. it's a cool rhyme, Rick. There you go. Uh, I would love for Jada. Capcom to is also Ninja Gaiden, right? The uh, no, no Ninja Gaiden is Techno. No. no, no, it isn't. Yeah, we we need a Shienko, uh born Tatum. Was that who said it? Mm-hmm. said it? Yep. Um, he he said that we'd get those Darkstalkers characters that were all in the MVC stuff. Hopefully, at some point. So we'll see about that. Trevor, I'm not going to let that comment go. Uh, he just he said something crazy. I didn't know this existed. Oh, the I am thinking chicken, of of Strider Ryu. The best chicken sandwich mm. I ever had was a KFC limited special fried chicken breast between two Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. Yeah, I remember that shit. That is nutty. You know what's really good, and don't going to take to bring it. back the double down. All right, don't don't sleep on it. You know what's really good is the cheesa. Go get the, the cheesa crunch wrap. No, the cheese at KFC. It's a giant oh. chicken breast with pizza sauce, cheese, and pepperonis on it. It's good. That's all I'm gonna say. It's good. It's a great time. It's a great time. You'll enjoy it. I I am the type of consumer that I just always go for the promo item. If I pull into the drive thru and I'm surprised by whatever the new promo item is, I'm like, darn it, I'll get it. Yeah, same here. And you know, oh, my you. Machu, I, I I don't think that restaurant ever existed around here. Did you guys ever have that restaurant growing up, Roy Rogers? No, I'm not from the 1950s. <laughs> Machu, <laughs> don't let your fucking kuya over here drag you like that. No, he's my kuya. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I said yours. <laughs> oh man, come on, Kabayan. What is this? <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Oh, we they still have Roy Rogers. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's crazy. Uh no, uh, that's 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 not. Oh yeah, Brad, Brad, you had a cheesa? Oh my god, what a guy this Brad. I should ne- never never got Brad. Oh, okay. it, dude, it's it's fucking it's a chicken breast with pizza sauce, cheese and pepperoni. How could you go wrong? It's it's like a it's a like a chicken parm <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> Fucking machu. My jaw just hit the ground with so much force I knocked over my Jada figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of jaw dropping, how about a 112 scale Tigra from Frazetta Girls? Dude, when I tell you I want to punch the fucking person that designed this thing in the throat, <laughs> look at those knees, bro. Knees are crazy. Yeah, the knees are all nuts. Fuck? And you know, Chamba, Chamba was pointing out last night on the Toy Migos, uh, they're not dolls. Uh, go watch that; it's really fun. Um, the person that designed this, like, why wouldn't you make that abdo- abdominal cut where the where the bra string is? It's kind of wild. It would have, it would have perfectly hid the the articulation. Like now, it just looks kind of awkward and like 
overhangs a little bit. Damn, I'm sorry, Trevor. I didn't that under boob look, bro. Come on. Didn't mean to fucking shit on this thing. I know that. I think you you took these pictures. Um, <laughs> Her name is Tigra, but she comes with a panther. <laughs> I I just I man those knees. They're fucking rough. They're fucking rough. I don't I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's enough time to fix it. Would be nice, but you know. Rick's on like. his on his Charlie shit. On your dating profile, dislikes people's knees. That's flesh knees straps. These are not great knees, though. Dude, they're really bad, man. Trevor, what's up? Did you shoot this? Can you tell these people those knees ain't I, it? I I think he did. I think he did. But you said uh, you said they can't do that bra strap one. Is it just too high or? <laughs> Brad, she's a ten, but she has <laughs> these knees. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my god, that that's crazy. You can't do the bra strap; it's too high. Yeah, you wouldn't get as much bend. Well, you you know that's why you you put your bra strap a little bit lower. Come on, lower you say. Well, okay. you know what? Fine, no bra strap. You're fine. You're right, Trevor. You know what? Bra straps out. We're out of here. We're over the bra strap. What about these knees? Huh? What are we doing with these knees? What about these knees? Right. Well, there she arthritis is. This is from the same. <laughs> this is from the same uh, company that had brought us the the ice wolf. What's the name? Dark wolf. Dark Fire wolf. Yeah. Ice. I, I I wanted to get that figure. I I don't. Is it out? I, I it is out. It, it is okay. Rick. It is out. Yeah, yeah I, I did want to get it. I don't. I, do people say good things about it, Trevor? You really like that figure? What? You is know, the Trev Daddy likes likes it. I think overall, but uh, from what I've seen, it's it's all right. It's just all right. Okay, okay. Didn't exactly blow me away. I don't know, Trevor. Yeah. But I do like are... the silhouette of her. Like, the silhouette of her is very nice, for sure. Yeah, everything else is nice, but man, those knees are pretty terrible. I don't know what you're talking about, Trevor. <laughs> They're pretty rough. Um, you know what? But the, but I, I will give them the benefit that this company's pretty new, right? So I'm not going to... I'm gonna yeah. dog them too much, you know. These they're 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 going. They're trying to sure, figure sure, out, sure. you know, who they are and what they want to do. So I'm not I'm not yeah. I'm not going to be too harsh like that. They're like not, a female not, not to like a little company like that needs to be articulated enough to be draped around a buff barbarian's knees, you know, kind of right around their legs. Yeah, I, I I won't I won't be I won't be too harsh. These, these guys are are doing what they're going to. Gosh do. darn it, Wade. On that note, I will. He says I'm going to awesome. need you. To change this slide already. All right, you got yeah. it, bud. And you know, before we get out of here, before any of us get sure. antsy. Oh my god, we gotta talk antsy. about Mattel, dude. Mattel had a fucking field day. No, no. No, no I was gonna say <laughs> what, what we needed that what we need yeah. to actually talk about before we get too antsy in our sure. fancies is we missed a lot of super chats, I think. Oh, let's catch up on them, Rick. I think we missed like three super chats or maybe two. Come on, Rick. Let me scroll up. Scroll up. Oh, Shelf god, presence they gone. was they uh... gone right now. Shelfie Prez. Bo Biggs hit us with ten sweet American buckies. Whoa! Oh you're Thank you're you, wow. What a good man, this Bo Biggs. What a what an absolute giver this man is. Um, sorry, I'm trying to scroll up to find the other one. From Mike Delta Sierra, MDS. No message. You know what? I don't need it. Thank you, sir. I don't need a message. I know that you're a good man. Silence speaks volumes. Yeah, it's it's it speaks to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess it was just those two. Or if I missed any, I'm I'm a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> you're a big piece of shit. Shelf presence hit us with a donation as well earlier in the show. Where can I see it? I love S- that guy. Saying what's up, gents? Happy Friday. Hope you all hope you hope all you collectors get some pretty plastic for Bunny Zombie Day. Lol, Jk. <laughs> uh, shelf presence you old so-and-so i i can't believe it i can't I, I don't know what's going on i couldn't see it and i let you down hey did you I guys do this did you guys get like presents for easter absolutely what? not okay <laughs> my my uh Brother, every day is a gift that's a little too catholic my my wife and i were talking about like what do we do like uh what do you call it like like holiday wise with our with our kid like what what holidays we get like super hard into but like becca was i never got anything for easter like i just no. uh, like nothing but becca's like well we gotta get him a basket and like maybe a present or something and i was like what, what? for what <laughs> whoa wrestling hound is confirming 
He said, I got a 3DS one year. But that <laughs> That's <was it>. insane. <laughs> Bro, what is this? Was I getting gypped the whole time? Were we supposed to get fucking presents? That's insane to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got hard boiled eggs as a kid. Hell yeah, Shroomy. <laughs> like as punishment? <laughs> Oh my god, Shelf Presence is saying the same thing. Seriously, you all were robbed. We always did stuff for Easter. What the fuck? I remember going to like like relatives' houses to do like the little Easter egg hunt when I was like a toddler or something, maybe, but Yeah, not not really. Yeah, no, no, I, I mean no. I mean it wasn't this. like giving gifts. It was like you just you know get tchotchkes from your little Easter egg hunt. What the fuck? Ray says he got gifts too. Lego sets and video games. Here, here, okay, I'm, I don't mean any offense in this at all. I, I say this with no ill will or anything. Okay. I don't care how anybody tries and twists this. Getting presents on Easter, like, sounds like some white people shit for real. I don't, <laughs> I don't know I knew that a single you. minority that got presents on Easter. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. If, if if anybody in the chat, you know, has a little bit of melanin in them and they got presents on Easter, fuck yeah, more well, power to you. The, the wrestling hound. He's he's Brazilian. Oh hell yeah, dude! Let's go. Brazil. Brazil gets down, brother. I'm Let's go, Brazil. dude. Brazil's got it. I don't know. Oh That's my god, Jason S. Jason S. I got a weird owl tape one year. That's so cool. <laughs> Wade Howlitson with some fatherly advice for you, Poncho. He says, "I never got shit." I'd be hating on my daughter when we have to get her a whole basket <laughs> of gifts for Easter. Don't do it, Pancho. Let it build up her character. That's what I'm saying, man. You gotta, we gotta, I gotta build character, man. I, I just don't know. Not, well, not Pancho, even you have to break that cycle of generational trauma, and you have to give gifts on Easter from now on. Now that you're due to I'm not doing a that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna honor my ancestors. Ever think about uh, that? There you go. <laughs> Hope it goes swimmingly for you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let Here you know. Shelf presents. Shelf presents thing. Yeah. As kids, we got candy. Then later it upgraded to toys. This is 100% a white thing for sure. <laughs> Catholic okay. balanced with bunny. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like little, like if a figure can fit in like a, like an Easter egg. Boom. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Pon- it was just like tchotchkes. You know? <laughs> Brad Poncho on his Mulan shit. <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of Easter, real quick. Hold on, Bo Biggs said something. Bo Biggs, what do you say? He said, "Yeah, uh, we siblings got bullshit baskets, but that's st- <laughs> that stopped real quick." <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What do you hell it's in, bro? I was twenty five for my first Easter egg hunt. <laughs> shit, <laughs> what? Shit. Now that's a crime. That's a that's <laughs> a crime, brother. You should. Well, to be fair, it's only because he learned to ride a bike the year before. How about speaking of the Superman and messianic figures? There you go. He hath literally D thirteen toys of biblical adventures fame. Whoa! Has got some new Easter angels coming out tomorrow. Yeah, not not folding the arms. (laughs) That's crazy. Hey, you kids ever heard about Christ? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> that's funny. That's what Brian said over there. Brian Kaplitz was like, uh, <laughs> where is it? He said, like, tell just tell your kid, you mind if I praise God? Yeah, no, that's what Brian said. That's what Brian said, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they dude, got all this, the flavors. This is like a classic youth pastor pose. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where is, dude, where is the dude. folding? The folding. Yeah, Dang. this is a real King of the Hill pastor. Praise him! Praise oh, him! <laughs> Praise him! I'm leaning towards the the strawberry chocolate one. I'm into it. Are they? Are they? These are these have got to be prototypes, right? Like, there's <laughs> no way. No, they just be making crazy colors of these guys now, dude. It says that they're available. It's uh, starting available. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Start. Wow, these are actually available. Hmm. Here's some glow in the darkers, some Zolo Conics. These figures are actually out. I didn't know that all these figures were out already. 
been fulfilled yet, but they at cons have been putting out these like single release demons and with these weird colorways. But the standard no ones are not out yet. No offense, isn't that a kind of a bad look? No offense to these guys. It's, like, it's hey, the Kickstarter we don't got out, it. Yeah, to be honest, uh, someone yeah, will forgive him. Sorry. Some yeah, I mean you know this is this is this is a line of Christ. <laughs> Forgiveness mm-hmm. is is a is a virtue. You know. They, yeah, they can get away with it. Look at these angels though; they make you oh, pine for the days and you had treats. Do uh, do they ship like this? This colorway? Are they painted? Yeah. What's going yeah. on? They're painted. Yeah. yeah, they look like chocolate. They look yeah. like an Easter bunny. Dude, chocolate. one of one of them oh, comes I with hate an this. Easter egg shield. I hate this. You hate this? It's look just, at this Easter egg shield. This is terrible. You don't like Poncho, this? Poncho, have a little imagination. No. What that is this? It's like a Kinder egg. No. Look at that Kinder egg. No. If you're gonna go like full Easter, then put like wacky designs on it, like stripes and zigzags and shit. Like oh you want you want the egg oh you want the this egg is capsule? this I is see, I don't yeah, I don't like know man cells, yeah I don't know this seems a little greedy to me they there's like there's rules I've heard and like this just seems to go against some of them I just don't <laughs> brother it's not greedy they're just trying to make money to spread the gospel <laughs> yeah <they're> just... <laughs> damn Nemo's with you Pancho says this yeah. is dumb this is weird this is like. This is like, these are like bootlegs. These look like KOs. Yeah. Why would I want? I just don't understand. I I don't. I don't because know. they look like bootlegs. I hate this. Boots to I'm bootlegs. sorry. All right, that's fair. Understandable. Have a great Understandable. day. Understandable. In chocolate, we trust. We're hearing. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, there you go. That's D13 toys waiting for for these. Biblical wow. adventure. <clears throat> Tre- Tre- Trevor said these things go for good money on eBay. Really? That is fucking crazy. But I guess because you know the, their only way to get them has been at ZoloCon and sure, uh, sure. and Legion's Con, I guess. So it's like, you know, that's the only that's that's crazy though. I don't know. Um, you know, b- forgiveness is built into this religion, so I guess there's not much I could say. But if mm-hmm. I was somebody that got a Kickstarter and uh, people were getting these at random little cons. And I didn't have them. I'd be mad as hell. I'd at least want the courtesy of like, hey, everybody that got the back the Kickstarter, you have the option of ordering these. Like that would make it cool. I'd be like, oh, that's awesome. Like, we get first dibs. Yeah, you know, true. We made this exist. But um, you know, Element of, yeah. But it's it's been a lot of just <laughs> the demons. Like they don't really do a lot of the angels. It's pretty much just been a lot of demon. Uh, even bear. even still though, like you yeah. know, it's kind of it's kind of. And that happens a lot, even with like like you know companies where like the variant will often hit before the the real figure that's been like on pre order waiting to be fulfilled. That's true. Yeah, which, which you know like uh, that's strange, but, you know, which I don't got mind. Their but but it would be cool to uh, to offer that to the people first that like backed your thing. I do. It would be nice. It would be nice. Sure, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. But you know, they also have to like promote too. Like that's it's another question of like continuing to get product out there and have stuff to show and sell while building oh. for full fulfillment. Oh, so that's not like production runs of these type of versions. Okay, Trevor, that makes a lot more sense. He said they're just test figures that are being sold. I see. Oh, I see. That makes a lot of sense then. That and actually I, does make a lot of sense. That that that's that's way different then. Yeah. It's not like like a fucking thousands of these like clear and red one is just test. That's mm. cool. That makes sense then. That that, that that's a yeah. cool little thing then. Like test shots. Okay, yeah, that makes shots. sense. Yeah. That's cool. that, that that's completely different than what I thought was happening. Then. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool then. That's yeah, a fun so thing bad. to do then. Yeah, that that that's a lot better. Okay, that that makes a lot more sense. Sure, me. sure. And speaking of, Holothon is coming soon. Can't yeah, see I, it. Uh, I, I, I really, our, oh, just... our community <laughs> beloved um, dystopian Comic Con. Ah, yes, Fabio. Um, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm filling up the time that he would be saying things with other things. I really want that damn Jack Kirby. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me now? There you go. You're yeah. back now. You're hey, back now. hey, remember, remember when they're like, let's have Comic Con at, at big box retailers. Ah, cool. Let's call it Holothon. And then it's back. It's this year. It's April 12th. There are some leaks as to what. Is going to be available. There's a whole list, I think, that got leaked. Fabio, it's not just a, it's not just the list. A lot of people are already buying it. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff. I'm just about to. I'm working, Rick. 
You, you fucked it up. It. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Damn. Call me Mr. Fucking that up. I was trying to fucking build up to it, okay? Because people are finding see a predator is on the list here as one of the licenses of something's beach. Here's a predator. Big if true. Boom. Randy Man. Classic Randy Man customs over here. Oh my god. Classic Why Randy. Can I not just see? There you go. It's the ultimate bear blood feral predator. What is this? A JPEG for ants? Okay, there it is. <laughs> it's an uh, incredibly huge <laughs> fucking photo. Yeah. All right. What a, okay, the predator from Prey. He's translucent and covered in bear blood. All right. Yeah, remember in that movie? Nope. You didn't watch Prey? Dude, nope. It's fucking so good. I know they it's good. I just haven't yeah. seen it. They have it in a native native language too. Yeah, that's yeah, really that's sick. Way to watch it, bro. So fucking good, man. My God, I don't watch dub. He's so bloody. <laughs> he watched the dub. I watch sub Dubby. only. You're sub you're only, baby. Sub not dubs kind of guy. Sub Absolutely. Dub. Respect the He's original subs guy. format. Hey, there yeah, just is. before we get there. before we get too far away from it, they're fine tooling. They're fine tuning the tooling production on main wave while releasing these. That's pretty cool. I take back what I said. That's cool. Take back what I said. Take it back. I don't right. mean it. That's fair. That's fair enough. I suppose. Baby, I was I was angry. There was too much going on at work. I don't mean it. Yeah, this predator is pretty cool. Like you said, people are finding the Jack Kirby from the Turtles line too. Must be known. Nice. People are finding uh, all kinds of stuff from the neck a hall a thon yeah you know what nemo i'm saying the same thing i said it when they talked about the predator and i'm saying it again no offense to anybody that likes that figure mm -hmm. um but i don't give a shit about this predator if i don't have a naru to go with this predator Darn. it's pointless to me i don't <laughs> i Jay want Michael. i want naru damn it Come Jay on. Michael will never fucking let me live this down. They're doing it wrong. Don't, don't ever let him live it down for the rest of your life, Jay Michael. Give it hey, to man, Quasimodo team. predicted this. Quasimodo. <laughs> Quasimodo predicted this. You're talking about that. That's a hot back adult a dame. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those yeah. Rick gets it. Rick gets it. <laughs> Damn, I'm so sorry, Ebony Oliver. That's fucking shitty. He says that uh, his target lost its neck rep last November, and they don't seem like they're ever going to replace them. Do, oh, no. You know what? I know it's your old flame, and I know you don't keep up with them much, Fabio. But do sure. they still do uh, the NECA brand ambassador shit? They do. I still you know? get the emails, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, Ebony Leopard, if you want, reach out. Try to become the brand ambassador for your target. And maybe you could fucking do it if you want to. You know, you could put it out. I've seen people do it. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people that the brand ambassadors, they just say like, hey, man, look, NECA sent me. And they just fucking do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just for you to get your own things, you know? Okay. I want to just do a quick skim over something that I think is <clears> big <throat> news this week. I would be remiss not Don't to Don't you mention. dare. Why? Shout out to Pixel Dan. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> what is it? All right. PD. All right. As he's known. Okay. Big Motu reveal drops. A lot of a lot of stuff uh, coming. What, All right. Why? 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 Because why? there's something really cool. All right. Here's a vehicle. There's, Just skip to the cool one. <laughs> also, low key. I mean, I don't care about the cartoon collection. Ne hey, neither do stuff, I. But, but the Masterverse <laughs> stuff is pretty cool. Who the fuck is this? This is from the '89 movie, from the '87 movie. It's the Beastman from the the Dolph Lundgren vehicle. This looks like. If somebody saw Odious and wanted to copy it and made something random. Oh, you think it worked that way? Okay. All right. The main thing... It did work that way, bud. Sure. Okay. Odious' production is moving along just fine, by the way, and it looks like it's going to be coming out on time. It looks really sure. good. Sure. The real, the real cooking Mattel's been doing behind the scenes, though. Look at the Skellingtor throne. There it is. It's, is, this what, is this what you wanted? Why don't you work with me a little bit here? I mean, it's... Here it is! Oh my god! You guys seeing this? The chat better be going off for this one! Oh, shit! Damn! Y'all seeing this? <laughs> I don't appreciate being patronized, Rick. <laughs> I'm trying to big you up, dog. Come on. 
Look at the Skelling Tour. Look, there's a Robot Man. There's a there's a battle armor Skelling Tour. This Masterverse line is doing some cool stuff. This is like yes. the new Eternia subline where they're like kind of more original in house <laughs> designs are based on old like prototype let, images. Chat or Poncho, let me know. Does Fabio sound like a robot for anyone else? No, he sounds fine. Okay, okay, it's just me. this kind of sounds like when you sound like a robot, Ricolas. Oh my god, I'm gonna leave it. Go back. Goodbye. All right, bye. Hey. The throne lights up, bro. Come on. That's cool. I I just I I just don't watch this show. I don't either, but look at the throne, bro. It's Made cool. It's tight. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool, 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 cool. There you go. That's cool, all cool. I wanted to talk about. Cool, the cool. skelling tour throne, brother. Cool, 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 cool. Hey Rick. Oops. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back, bro. Oh, Zach, and hey, you know Rick. what? You you sound crystal clear. Crystal clear. Oh, great. Yeah, it was just me. Then. It was just Rick, me. what do you think of the Skelling Tour throne? Um, I I I was gonna say as much as I'm acting like I'm dogging on it right now. Um, I thought, oh, it would have been cool to buy a user for something else, but then I heard it was seventy dollars. Fuck this throne, bro. There's no way this is seventy dollars. Seventy bucks. Get the what? Just I like the throne though, but not for mm. seventy bucks. Mm. Mm. I don't know. This is like a fifty dollars max thing. To yeah, do. it's apparently a mm, 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 BBTS Entertainment Earth fan channel <laughs> exclusive. So no waiting for it to hit clearance. <laughs> Brian and the chat goes mild. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> chat, is this real? Oh my god, that's. Crazy, yeah. I, I, I all, all jokes aside, I don't hate this throne or anything, but at seventy bucks, no thanks. Um, if this was like fifty bucks, might, mm -hmm. might, might do it. Nah. Plus, but uh, sorry, man, beast know. boy, no, no, uh, retail waiting on this one. No, no clearance waiting at retail. Rather, it's gonna be online exclusive unless you catch a sale or something. You know, could be coming to a Ross near you, just like that cyber sure truck. <laughs> Yeah, it comes with oh, the figure, Trevor. Oh, it comes with the figure. I guess price wise, then it's not terrible because like twenty bucks for the figure, fifty yeah, bucks for the five, you know, really. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's 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 not bad then. But I I just uh you know I I don't collect this stuff anyway, so it's 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 hard to justify at that price. Mm -hmm. But if you do, congratulations, you got something congratulations. cool. Congratulations, you've won. All right, I think uh, I think that's it, right? Unless we had something at Lagos that we needed to no. take a look at. No, I I think that was it. I think that was that was. Oh, it. what about this? Is this Nemo's yeah. new profile picture? Cool little figure. Um, I'm gonna buy it just to support more video game stuff. Just like that. Uh, they do that plenty. Alter Beast guy, <laughs> and uh, that Streets no. of Rage guy. Sega Where does not need your help. <laughs> I I I need my help. No, Sega does not need your help. Uh, this, I, this, line. Oh my. this is pretty cool. I mean, this, Sega puts out Sonic figures like every two months. <laughs> yeah, but Sonic Sonic has always existed. It's like always going to be there. There's always going to be a toy line for it. When was the last time you saw Super Monkey Ball line? It wasn't until like the game came out back then. I mean, Gashapons exist. Super, those figures are super expensive. Those old ones, they're mad pricey. Okay, I lied. I had one more thing. This was supposed to be an hour show. <laughs> <laughs> I, Don't blame I, me! And I quote from before we went live, we can get this done in an hour. <laughs> I thought we could. <laughs> We're just going to talk about Super 7, and huh? then you can go home. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Hey. All right, here we go. I'm just trying to catch up. You're, you're, you're too you far. are we scrolling. Talk we, we, <laughs> talk, we, we talk over what I want to talk about. All right. Here. Bond, Bond Scott. Scott of ACDC is here in reaction form, people. Hello. Hello. Is this thing on? Was this really it? We're, we're really. No, we're there's talking. more. There's more. But we, we, I like we, this. We, we talked about a lot of things you scrolled past. That's why I'm saying that. Oh, I see. Well, this was two days, four days ago. When this this happened, bro. Oh this is, well, this is Bond that, Scott. Well, I mean, must have just been Come on, man. Must have just been reposting because we talked about the Beastie Boys. I'm one of the okay, yeah, yeah. No, I mean that the Beastie Boys. I think they just keep posting about them, but yeah, we definitely talked about them before. Yeah, we, um, we talked about them before. But bro, 
Bon Scott of AC. Look at that tattoo work. My God. Is this for right. the three and three quarter inch one? Yeah, it's a reaction figure, but it's Bon Scott, dude. That means. What if we get him an ultimate? From ACDC, Ebony Leopard. Come on. I'm one of those fans that thinks ACDC died asphyxiating on their own vomit in the back of a car, along with Bon Scott, their original vocalist. Shroomy, a Spyro figure does exist. NECA made it, and it's uh, it's decent. Mm. I don't know if you ever bought it, Poncho. It's pretty decent, huh? What? The, the Spyro figure that NECA made? No. It's it's pretty it's it's decent. I, I was I wasn't a Spyro kid. You weren't? No. You weren't a PlayStation sure. boy? No. Wow. Um, Very well. You're kind of uh, breaking my heart right now, but it's okay. Uh, I had an N64 and a childhood, so I'm pretty I'm pretty cool. I I, I had an N64 and a PlayStation. Huh? How about that? Well, none of us but, are born with silver spoons in our mouths, unlike you. That Rick. wasn't why. I had it because <laughs> my dad worked at Circuit City. Oh, well, so did my dad. Yet I didn't have one. Yeah, well then you know what? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. My dad worked customer service at Circuit City. Uh, uh, I had I an N- I had an N sixty four first, and then I bought a PlayStation. Um, so like when PlayStation was around, I was like a teenager. I was like, well, maybe I was like eleven or or twelve or something. I was like, there's no way you were a teenager because you're like only a year older than me. Well, I was also <laughs> poor, so I didn't get new shit first. <laughs> no. I, I was poor. I didn't get a PlayStation until 2000. Two, yeah, 2000. Yeah. But I mean, it came out in what, 97? 6? 96? The, red, the first PlayStation? Yes. 97, I think. Oh, no. 97. Well, um, speaking of the devil. 94. December 94, 94. in Japan. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. I think we got ours in I think we got ours in either ninety six or ninety seven. Yeah, ninety six sounds like a noir scar Zarface? That's a Yeah, the original Zarface is hitting like right now. Um, there he is. So here's another version. The renegade oh, robot. Noir. Look, he can eat a radioactive burrito. Zar Noir. Pre order from Super All Seven right. and get the exclusive Super Pack. Yeah, pre-order direct from Super Seven to get that, but right, this is okay, cool. I okay. like this guy's design like a lot. It works really well in figure form. Yeah, I, I, I want the original one, but they come to this, this toy is, show. It's cool. They come to this toy show, Neil. Should I get it? And they don't sell it. That, like, I don't know what they want a patch me to do. Of a band I don't listen to. You should get it. Yeah, maybe. Um, that's literally it. We've seen the Beastie Boys. We've seen Amazing. everything else. All right. <laughs> Future Rick, a poor off is wild. Man, if we would have kept going, we would have done a poor off. A poor off. <laughs> Bro, when I uh, when I lived in South Florida, I was in like elementary school, and I did my most of my clothing shopping at Ross or at TJ Maxx and things like that. Right? Hell yeah, absolutely. And I bought some mismatched sized uh, Reebok sneakers. One of them was a 10, the other was a 10 and a half. Or maybe it was 11 or something, whatever my size was. But no, it was smaller. I was I was a kid. I was not full size. But I bought mismatched size sneakers, and they were squeaky. There was like a pop to the sole or something. So everywhere I walked in my elementary school, you hear this like popping, clicking noise. You were a 10 and a half in elementary school? N- no, no, no. I corrected myself, but I must have oh. gotten cut off. Okay. I was about to say. No, no. Well, Whatever my size was back then, I got like one size and then like one size up of mismatched sneakers. Because, you know, they just like tie them together with like a, like a, yeah, like zip tie or something. And they just didn't match. And I, I had to walk around with these squeaky mismatched sneakers throughout a Florida yeah. elementary school. That, that fucking Florida, he got it. Could have been. Yeah, a I Sly am. Cooper, a Sly Cooper figure would be amazing, Ebony Leopard. Sly I'd Cooper, lose my mind. I'd lose my mind. But Poncho's not a PlayStation person. He doesn't care about Sly Cooper. No, he's not hey. a PFP. I had a PlayStation. All right, I just had an N64 first. <laughs> uh, so it's all about who comes first to you, huh? Well, during the time when Spyro was like popping off, like I was, I wasn't playing PlayStation stuff. We're playing Paper Mario, huh? Huh? I probably was. I love yeah. Paper Mario. <laughs> it's a fantastic game, and I Paper love Mario it. Paper Mario is fucking awesome. I anyway. love Paper Mario. It's fantastic. 
It might be my first RPG. That's crazy. That's... That Paper Mario is your first RPG? That's crazy. That or Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Dark Alliance was after Paper Mario, so yeah. Okay. So Sounds yes. like it's Paper Mario for you. I, at, th- at that point, I didn't know they were RPGs. I was just like, I want one of those games where you like level up and stuff. Does that make and, sense? And you literally leveled up. Yeah. It's called Cap, min-maxing, Rick. You should try it sometime. Cap lives a 10 in elementary school. It's crazy. Huh? Uh-huh. Nah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I wonder Sorry, what I misspoke. Tall, I wonder what tall drink a glass would have been a 10 in elementary school. Huh, Brian? I wonder. Couldn't have been you, huh? There's no way. Dragon Quest. I think that's going to end up getting figures Ebony Leopard. I think that that's like a that's like a NECA moment away from being done. Dragon play, Quest uh, with NECA? No, like I'm I'm, no, I'm saying like like somebody who could do it or would do it. Like that's a NECA like moment away from happening. You know, like that kind of company would do it. Do you guys ever play Harvest Moon? Yeah, oh, absolutely. What was the one for PlayStation? Was it Harvest Moon? I'm thinking of a different one, I think. Because that's there's, a Nintendo one. I mean, there's Harvest Moon for PlayStation and N64. Really? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's not an exclusive. I mean, Bring Arts already makes Dragon Quest figures, so. Mm. I'm going to have to look for it and send it to you. There's one that I used to like go over to a friend's house to play. I don't think it was Harvest oh, Moon. Oh, like, you, you know what? In my mind, he said Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair, that makes much more sense. I, in my mind, that's what he said. But I know he's saying Dragon Quest, but in my mind, I heard Dragon's Lair. That's so a I'm much bad. better fit for NECA. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. That, that, see, no wonder you were like, I was like, why is he questioning this? Dragon Lair seems totally NECA. <laughs> I was about to say Super 7 then? Let's go back to Super 7. Maybe they can do it. But um, yeah, Dragon Quest, they already exist, and they're they're pretty good from what I hear. I don't own any of them. Do you own any of them, Poncho? Which ones? The Dragon Quest ones? No, I only own one Bring Arts figure, and it's that Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. Ooh, I, I always wanted to get a cloud from them, but uh, never made the jump. I wasn't a huge Final Fantasy VII person either, so that stuff does not you, resonate with me. Really? You don't you don't like Advent Children? Playing on this podcast. I was just about to say. I mean, I've only really. Uh, I mean, I watched Advent Children when it came out, but I was uh, refamiliarized with it on a uh, uh, 200 by 200 pixel version of it when Emmy was watching it on our <laughs> fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The first time I ever played Final Fantasy VII was I was at my older cousin's house, and this was I was like a child. This was like 1996 or something, mm-hmm. and I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, and like, I am almost certain I erased his save and like, he yelled at me and I was like, all right, tight. I'm never watching. I'm never, fuck this. I'm not playing this shit ever again. Damn. <laughs> Final Fantasy trauma is real. It is very real. Okay. It wasn't Harvest Moon. <laughs> it was Dark Cloud. Okay. Dark can- Cloud. Yeah. Dark Cloud rules. Sorry, I, I had to get that out of my head. It was gonna bother me forever. Yeah, Dark Cloud was yeah. Cool. That I, I remember when I was being. I remember when I was a kid, people would like always make jokes about that dude looking like fucking Link on the cover. It's true. That game goes yeah. hard. Yeah, that game is sick. You think that was intentional? Absolutely. Uh-oh. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you just take a second? I know this is going on long, but take a second to imagine that it was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> struggling to do that if i'm honest it's okay but yes all right all right let's uh let's do plus and get up out of here huh what yeah 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 let's plug it up what y'all say i got i got an episode of uh shogun to catch up on oh my god never seen shogun never seen it dark cloud rules Sounds um like a well, Yu-Gi-Oh trap card when i'm not watching shogun i'm also um uh at fobster 360 on instagram also Bobster here on YouTube. Um, I did a great stream with my friend KJ, aka Black Genghis, from a toy kind of mood. But we were mm-hmm. on his YouTube channel at Black Genghis. Had a great, great conversation yesterday, um, and it's up on his channel now for y'all to check out. Talking about 
men's co and things of that nature. That's My wonderful. shelves are, are still looking, they're still in progress. They're looking a little bare right now. But mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. in the process of starting to display stuff more and more. It might not be everything. I might try to curate it a little bit, but either way, um, we'll be back to um, regularly scheduled programming once I have a more, you know, more of a handle on what my like regular work schedule and all that is looking like. But yeah, until then, follow me on Instagram, Fobs360, YouTube, Bobster. And um, that's it, baby. Hey, Rick, what's good with you, man? Hey, what? what's up it's me rick from the podcast and uh, i'm here every friday uh ideally and i'm on instagram at rick dom 2345 and uh yeah i post shit there sometimes and um i'm here on the podcast every friday sometimes so um, cool, dude. you know you know the deal baby um yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else. Pancho, what, what do you got to plug? You, you doing auras? You doing uh, dusty? You doing a what, what? You doing a stream after this? What's going on? None of the above. Oh my god. Uh, I'm. I don't know where I am with auras right now. I haven't taken a single order. Uh, and I am really starting to take uh, what do you call it? Uh, inventory of what my life is going to be like once I have another human to take care of, oh and I god. I don't know if it's in my best interest to do like a full blown aura rollout. Uh so you, you don't, don't you don't think you could you could do one rollout before the baby? No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to overpromise anything, so I just won't say anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you, you you know may, may uh I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah. Just Better really. just like catch up. Don't get overwhelmed, sir. Sure, I got no catching up to do. It's uh I'm all caught up, but I just don't want to, because every time I do auras, every time I do auras, I say like I'm only going to take like ten orders. But then people are are like, "Oh, is there it's there time to squeeze in?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll do I'll do one." And then suddenly I have like a ton of orders, and then everybody wants like five or mm-hmm. six each, and I'm like, "Okay, oh Jesus," <laughs> which limit, which I'm brother. which I'm very thankful for, of course. But like, it's just just makes the production time like crazy long, and I, I just don't mm-hmm. know. There you go. Christopher Miller has it. Just let the baby design some auras. That's true. Bro, put that kid to work right away. I plan on it. Yeah, good. <laughs> those small parts in their hands. It's true. Yes. Incredible. Hey, what's up with you? What's what's we plugged? That the, yeah, I'm plugged. I'm not doing anything. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, I was fooled. That's what I'm talking Either about. You got so much to plug. All right, all right. Well, don't do shit. On that note, thank you everybody for uh, tuning in this evening, spending your Friday with us. It means a lot. Thank you, friends. Thank you, everybody in the chat, hanging out with us this evening. Um, don't forget to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you best hit that bell down there and. Until next time, peace. Goodbye. (laughs) And uh, stay safe, but not too safe. Have some fun out there. Peace, toy soldiers. It's the toy soldiers every time. It's it's working. (laughs) It's it's working pretty well. Uh Uh-oh. I think even people who are not privy to... Jason has to see you all at Good Burger. They did have that for a while. Anymore. I brought a bootleg copy to, of Good Burger to my daycare once, and I got in trouble because they said ass three times in that movie, and I wasn't allowed to bring movies to that to that daycare ever again. The boy showed up to work.